All right, we are here. We are live. Might have had some issues, but with now, we are going to turn that down. We're going to turn that off. Yes, it is Tuesday. It is time for the Hot Tag Podcast, everybody. That's right. The hot Tag. Hot Tag. Hot she, Tag? That's right. Hot Tag. I can't get a chant going. I, I think I can't get a chant going. You uh, sons of bitches. There we go. You have right. dicks. Oh, man. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if I if I sound like shit tonight, I'm calling via phone. So uh, my dog, unfortunately, pissed all over my router. So I, I don't have internet access right now. So uh, we're doing it through the phone. So let's see how this works. Yeah, and that's right. You heard him correct. His dog pissed on his router. You did hear correct. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. That that uh, yeah. that was not. I, I, I should I should actually correct myself. Multiple times he he, he, he peed on the on the router. Multiple multiple times. He's a dick. <laughs> oh, that's so not funny. So Shaheen is without internet tonight, but uh, we figured out a way to do it anyway. Um, computers and phones are amazing. Thank you, technology. Uh, we've. Uh, we got it going this way, at least. And we can still use the soundboard and everything. So have no fear, people. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. I'm getting no internet on my phone either. And that has nothing to do with my router. So I'm fucked either way, man. So thank you for the phone. <laughs> at least the phone is working. Yeah. You know, so. Phone's yeah, thank you, technology. You screwed me over. But, uh, yeah, you, you fixed it all over again via yeah. phone. I thought this... Uh... I thought this would be a pretty easy way to do it, and I guess it was. So, not bad, not bad. Um, so, well, damn, Shaheen, we got a lot, I think, to talk about tonight. Because, um, I don't know, what do you, uh, did you did you watch Lucha last week, Underground? Uh, I believe so, yeah, I did. All right, so we got Lucha, we got Raw. That was the episode with, uh... Hold on one second. That was the episode with Conan doing the audio blade job, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched it. Yeah. Okay. It was good. It was good. It was good. It um, show keeps getting better. They're having a few split ups and kind of sending some guys out there. You know, teams are on their own, and I don't know. I it it, it just can't be a better show. But uh, that goddamn Brian Cage, man, that guy Cage, the man they call Cage. Dude. They should have hired him for a fucking tournament here, man. That guy is a that guy is a machine. He is a beast. That guy. I mean, they 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 showed him in that workout scene, and I'm like, his fucking arms are giant. Oh yeah, yeah, man. He eats uh, he eats steroids for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> steroids and growth hormones just just drizzles them all over his fucking protein shakes. Now notice how I said he eats, not injects. Yeah, he there you go. It. He doesn't give a shit, man. He eats the whole fucking meal. That's that guy's it. A machine. That's it. Or he may, he may be on the Scott Steiner, you know, eight chicken or what was it, eight to ten chicken breast a day diet. That's that's probably what it really is. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, probably not. All right, he probably eats steroids for oh. breakfast, allegedly. Yeah, probably. <laughs> allegedly, probably a whole steroids. <laughs> Allegedly, eat steroids for breakfast. We don't want to, uh, you know. We don't want to be mean uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, allegedly, the guy takes a lot of steroids. Right. Allegedly, right? We no, we're just kidding. I, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know the guy, but damn, man, he he looks like he takes steroids. Yeah, he's a giant. The man is awesome. But you know what's funny is the guy can actually move as quick as a lot of those luchas. The guy's got fucking agility, man, for a guy his size. Oh yeah. Now what I found funny is is him mentioning that he is indeed a lucha. Mm -hmm. That that was kind of weird to me. Isn't that? I thought luchas were like. Uh, I don't know. I thought they were just like. Spanish. Small, high flying. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're, like I said, you know, they're not calling themselves wrestlers. They're calling themselves luchas. They're not calling the matches matches. They're calling them luchas. Maybe they're just kind of trying to that stay. Is true. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just kind of trying to stay away from the word wrestling right now. Um, <laughs> it's WWE all over again. 
That's fucking that dirty word, man. That is a dirty word. Dirty, dirty word. Don't Take say away. it. But dirty words. That's I cooties. Know. I don't know, man. I, 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 I like what they're doing, Lucha Underground. I mean, we'll, to, to, we'll just spend a few minutes on Lucha. We don't have to go back and do every match because I don't feel like looking up the fucking results and shit. But we got plenty to talk about anyway. But yeah, man, that that show yeah. is just getting better and better and better each week. Each week it goes off. Each week when I'm done watching it, I'm like, "Fuck, I wish it was another hour." Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. That, that show is, is awesome. Yeah. yeah, definitely awesome. Yeah, so definitely, uh, if you if you haven't gotten into watching Lucha Underground yet, you gotta check it out. Uh, I think it's posted on. Uh, I think you can watch it on YouTube, right, Shane? I believe so. I catch it on on uh, Unimas or yeah, Unimundo yeah, yeah. or whatever the fuck it's called. I think what, so. What's that channel called? Is it is it Telemundo or is it Unimas? Um, I believe Telemundo is is a different one. I'm sorry. Yeah. But Telemundo. Uh, either way, I watch I watch it on the Spanish channel. Yeah, you got to say that with some with some power. A Telemundo. There you go. Well, I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, you can't just say Telemundo. 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 Ya lo sabe. <laughs> there you go. Man. Look at you. You even. I just turned Mexican for a couple minutes. Look at you. All right. And up. Oh, yep. Making sure the record. Yep. And we're recording. I actually had a record this time, everybody, and I am recording. For those uh, who've been listening nice. since the beginning, they understand what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh... Long time listeners. I don't know if we can call ourselves long time. I mean, we're on the 30, what, 30 some episodes. 31. That's, that's kind of a lot. This will be 31. Yeah, so, uh, well, there were at least two to three in the middle there that did not get recorded. So, yeah. That's, yeah, we're probably up to like 35. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, uh, I forget to record once we get here, but, uh, we got it this time. Uh, we're recording. We're good to go. And um, first thing I want to, one thing I want to go ahead and say, we've uh, picked up a lot of new downloads. I want to thank everybody downloading the show. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe on iTunes, leave some reviews, do whatever you got to do. Appreciate it. There you go. And if you're a, if you're a first time listener, we usually sound a lot better than this. So once again, I apologize on my behalf. My router got pissed on by my dog, so blame him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All Just, right. Uh, yeah, so, you know, basically, if, you know, th- th- we do s- usually sound a lot, but I don't know how I sound, but uh, someone in the chat room might tell me if I'm fine. I should be fine. Everything should be about the same. So, anyway, don't worry about Shaheen. Mm-hmm. You know how it goes. Apology accepted. Ooh, yeah. Apology accepted, man. Don't even worry about it. Ooh, yeah. There you go. There we go. But uh, so. let's let's quickly let's quickly touch on uh fucking Lucha Underground. Um, do you remember any of the matches? I watched it, but I, I don't recall match <sighs> by the match. Remember the first match had that guy Aerostar, Superfly, and a new guy who oh, yeah. um what's his name? Kevin Matthews or something is his indie name. Kevin Matthews. I think that was his name. Hold on, no. I have something on. Let me see. Do I still have something on that? Kevin Matthews. He's Kevin Matthews is in a pro wrestling syndicate. That's that's the guy we we're talking about last week. Oh, god damn it! You're gonna make me do it, aren't you, Lucha? No, I'm not. Actually, fuck it. No, fuck it. But uh, since since you mentioned uh, Kevin Matthews, let's let's quickly talk about this. Kevin Matthews, remember that uh, barbed wire match that we were talking about? Yes, yes, yes. Dude, that looked like a fucking badass match. I didn't get to attend the show, but uh, that match looks badass. So anybody who wants to check that out, man, Pro Wrestling Syndicate, check them out, man. Support any wrestling hashtag. Support any wrestling. Um, fucking Kevin Matthews against uh, Kurt Hawkins. Formerly known as Kurt Hawkins. Um, right. What the hell is his name now? Brian, Brian something? I, I, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway, fucking no rope barbed wire match, man. I haven't seen a no rope barbed wire match in a long time other than CZW and like, uh, like Big Japan or 
you know, IWA in the South. But uh, other than like the major, you know, ultra violent, um, fucking wrestling organizations, we haven't seen too many barbed wire matches. So this 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 was actually special, and it wasn't like a barbed wire bat match. This was a no rope, took all the fucking ropes down, yeah. all barbed wire. Brutal match. Check this out, man. Hopefully they'll actually put it on their uh, weekly TV show. And if you can't uh, get it in New York, you can check it out on YouTube, I believe. I think they put it on there. So uh, just just type in PWS or Pro Wrestling Syndicate. You should you should find it. Everything's on everything's on YouTube. Just look it up. There you go. Yeah, man. We give it. We give a lot of uh, fucking nice plugs to PWS, man. There you go, Eric. Because you, you support indie wrestling, sir. I would if there was more around here. Yeah, nah, they're 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 good people too, man. They uh they treat their uh, fans right, man. They gave us uh, some good tickets when uh, Extreme Rising kind of screwed us a couple years ago. So ever since then, I I grew new respect for them. So uh, I said, hey, when 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 we do a podcast eventually, I'm gonna start plugging their shit if I like it. And I've been liking it recently, so why not plug their shit? There you go, sir. I agree with you. <sighs> Indeed. Right. By the I way, folks, do. we can now take phone calls. Apparently, so we think. Oh, we'll uh, we'll test. We that think. Out. Maybe we'll test it uh, tonight. We'll see if anybody maybe wants to try. That phone number would be. Give me two seconds here. Four six nine three four zero two eight three four. Um. At, you know, might just have to call in and be quiet, but we'll uh, we'll test it. Yeah, well, why don't you go ahead and give them that number one more time in case uh. One more time, yeah. okay? It's four six nine three four zero two eight three four. Alrighty, yeah. There so you if you guys want to call in later on, um, yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll pop the number out again. I'll probably post it on the Facebook. Um, maybe we'll see. Um, now, I guess what the big news would be is the Austin... Uh, did, uh, uh, did you want to keep going on Lucha? I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, I just, I, I like Conan doing the necessary, uh... <laughs> the blade job. Blade jobs. <laughs> he did. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I love my blade jobs. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that was, was awesome. that was cool, man. And it, it was, it was a good angle. The guy beat the shit out of him. Uh, Brian Cage, once again, that guy's a fucking beast. Oh. And I, I like how they're pushing him, man, right to the top. You know, straight from the beginning, right right against uh, Prince Puma. Yeah. Former PWG, uh, former shit. PWG friend. So I, they, they, they know each other. I'm expecting a great match. I'm sure it's going to be a great match. So it's going to be good, man. Yeah, and that, uh, that Asian woman finally spoke, went in and threatened Dario. Yeah, dude, that that guy is fucking awesome. He's oh, he impresses me week by week, man. More and more. I, I've just never seen anyone so set for the role. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, talk about some of the best casting I've ever seen. That's it right there. Yeah, that just that's... the setting too, man. It's so fucking you know just grimy and gritty. I don't know. I like it. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, you just can't get. I don't know. It, it just seems to me like they're doing everything. It, it, I mean, right. they have so many people right when so many other companies are doing so many things wrong. So, good for them. And I mean, they've okay. got the they've got the people there who should be able to take mistakes and fix them. I mean, they've all been to WWE and everywhere else. Right. So. Yeah. And it, 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 dude, it seems to be so simple. Like the, the formula to, to good wrestling is just—it's fucking simple, man. I just—I mean, I'm not a booker. I'm not trying to be a booker, man. I'm just saying, you know, just observing wrestling over the fucking last what 20 years of my life, more yeah. actually. Um, uh, you know, you just you, you just kind of get it after a while. So it just really surprises me when things happen, <laughs> like things unfolded at, at the Royal Rumble. That just that fucking boggles my mind, man. And, like you said, the Austin and, and, and Triple H uh, podcast that we watched last night kind of uh, tapped into that. So I don't. I, do you want to segue into that? Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and get that out of the way? 
I mean, that's... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, why, why don't we? You know what? I think I've even got a little uh, breakdown of what was uh, being talked about there. Nice. Look at us. Look at us being professional. I do, actually. Yeah, Gosh. I got a little breakdown. A breakdown. Breakdown. Break it down. Break it down. Down and out. Down and out. Down and out. Down and out. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, 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 was, I, I, was, I was right there with you, man. I was, I was crotch chopping. Should have seen me. There you go, man. Dude, if the cameras were don't, on. Don't uh, don't 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 ever cross chop near fucking Chris and Amy, though. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> God, fine. I loved. That was bullshit, by the way, man. That was fucking. Well, he didn't crotch chop her. He put awesome. he put balls right in her face. I fucking loved it. I was cheering. <laughs> he, he just put dick to nose. I was cheering. Just slapped his <laughs> straight slapped his dick on her forehead. He did, and I swear to God, I was cheering my ass off, dude. I loved that shit. Uh, Austin Aries is a wild man. He is a little man, dude. I mean, I'm fucking five nine, and that guy is little. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I saw him at at, at the fucking uh, Legends of the Ring, and he had to be the smallest person in in the fucking room. And there was kids there. Wow. Maybe not literally, but oh, yeah. you, well. you 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 get the point. Oh, I get you. There you go. You know, those those kids can be crazy kids. Crazy, huge. crazy kids. That's a huge bitch. That's... <laughs> God damn, where is that one? I put I put more on here, and now I can't find shit. Oh, you're a dick. Hey. I'm just kind of turned into the soundboard tonight. That's what it seems hey, like. Hey, I know where that one is. You dick. Easy. Yeah. That's a huge bitch. That should, that should be the first one. There we go. There you I go. got it. But uh, yeah, let's let's talk about the Austin podcast with uh, Triple H. Uh, Triple H. Uh, um, what was your overall little view of it? Uh, it definitely made me like Triple H a little bit more, mm -hmm. and I was already a fan of the guy. I always I always like Triple H, man. I think he's got a good mind for the business. I think he understands the business. I think he's uh, more realistic than than Vince. I think Vince is kind of living in his own world, whereas Triple H kind of understands what the fans want. And although he kind of, you know, takes jabs at the, you know, I'm, I'm doing air quotes like you usually say, IWC, um, <laughs> fucking, but dude, come on, man. It's, it's 2015. It's social media is everywhere. Everything is, is related to, to social media. And basically everybody has, the, the channel to to, to kind of express their opinion now, and and that's what you deal with. You don't. It's not just the internet fans. I mean, clearly you saw what happened at the Rumble. Those weren't all internet fans, dude. They were fucking real people. It's not internet. Fans. I was one of them. I'm a real person. I'm not just an internet fan. Like you know, like what the hell does that even mean, man? Everybody has the internet. Everybody uses the internet. I get it. They're talking about the people that go on the dirt sheets, but. Whatever, dude. I mean, that's that's a small portion. Everybody else is still not very happy with the product. So, I I don't know, man. I don't think it's just a IWC, and I hate that term, by the way. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think I think over overall, just the wrestling fans are kind of fed up with the bullshit they've been feeding us for years. So it's not it's not internet fans. It's uh, it's the reality era. So you know. Live in reality, please. But yeah, again, you know, Triple H is more realistic than this. But I, I enjoyed it overall. Yeah, I did too. Um, I thought the same thing. Triple H came off as kind of um, of of having his uh, yeah. I, they said this a ton last night, but you know, it's it's basically what it is. Have his finger on the pulse a little more than Vince does. Um, I don't know. Definitely thought that uh, I'll put it this way: when the interview was over, the, uh, my thoughts were. I think maybe we will be in good hands when Vince leaves or when Vince is gone, however he does leave. Um, I'm sure he won't leave until I mean, he's dead and buried. I don't know if we're going to be in good hands, but we're going to be in better hands. Better and hands. By that, I don't, I don't mean any disrespect to Vince. I mean, the guy is clearly a genius. He built this huge fucking, you know, just, just huge. He's, he's, he's one of the fucking biggest entrepreneurs in, in the last, you know, 50 years or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. And he did. But um, I, I definitely thought coming out of it that um, 
we could be okay. Uh, Triple H seems to have a good grasp on what. Um, I mean, he he understands that he's going for a different audience with the you know NXT, which is why it's booked the way it is. So I mean, I don't know. He he came off pretty good. I thought Steve waited till the end to ask some of the tougher questions. The beginning was kind of a bunch of fluff and bullshit, but um, really, yeah, really shocked me. With the, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my shocking was. When he asked about China, I damn near fell off my chair. Did you? I mean, that seems to be the, 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 the overall reaction from everybody. But I honestly, I mean, I wasn't really too surprised. I mean, I, I saw that coming. Man. That's that's one of the big ones. You have to ask that. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, it's kind of one of the ones that I wouldn't. You, you know, I mean, Steve's a kind of a you know respectful WWE. I just thought it was weird to ask. I mean, he knows what she's done, but I will say this: Triple H did have a valid point. You know, you look her up on a computer, and what's going to pull up? Uh, probably, Absolutely. you know, probably some of that. I do understand what he's saying. I also think she probably does have a spot in the Hall of Fame. But I do see his point. So it's a it's a catch twenty two where you know it's he's right. He's he's got two valid points. He's right and he's right. So yeah. I mean, honestly, man, I I agree with you one hundred and ten percent. I mean, the guy. And before somebody fucking corrects me, I know that's not mathematically correct. So <laughs> fuck you, just expression. But uh. Because you get stupid people saying shit like that. It pisses me off more <laughs> than anything. Um, see, I just lost my train of thought. God damn. China. But, uh, you agreed with me. China. There you go. China. But no, I, I agree, man. Because, and I, I saw some stupid people on Twitter. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for just disrespecting everybody tonight. Actually, I'm not sorry because you guys are stupid if you did this. <laughs> but uh, people actually took took uh, snapshots of fucking them searching on Google China's name. And they were trying to make a point that, hey, if you, if you search for China, there is no new pictures that, that, that pop up for... I mean, come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, he, he, I'm sure he probably didn't go on Google and search China's name before he said that statement. He didn't mean it literally. He, but you get his point, though. She's done porn. She was in gangbangs. Not even just regular porn. She was getting gangbanged by, like, eight dudes at once. That's... I mean, the fuck, man? Are you kidding me? This well, is a fucking PC. We're living in a PC world. This is a PG-rated fucking show that we're watching on Monday nights. This is a PG company. This is a publicly traded company. They're not going to have a, a former wrestler with 16 cum shots on her face. It's just not happening, dude. I mean, not right now, anyway. I mean, maybe when she's older and she's fucking wrinkled up and they run out of people to, to put in there and all the Google images kind of faded into the past, maybe then, but right now, she was a She-Hulk. I mean, what the fuck, dude? She was a She-Hulk. 16 cum shots on her face. I'm just, <laughs> that was a great She line. was the She-Hulk. Fuck the cum shots. She was the She-Hulk. I, I mean, like come on, man. <laughs> and Triple like... H, I mean, Triple I kinda... H, man, I respect him. I salute him for that. That's, I respect you, sir. That's That was a good answer. And he has, he has balls, man. I mean, you know, he could have kind of gave him the, the fucking bullshit answer, but... He, I mean, he gave a few politically correct answers, but you had to expect that from the guy. Come on, don't, you know... But is it, is, it, is it a politically correct answer, or is it really the truth, though? I mean, we're not being politically correct, and we agree with... I think it's the truth. I mean, oh, she, yeah. she's done several porno videos. They don't want to put her in the Hall of Fame because she's had fucking almost overdoses like 20 times. She's had terrible relationships in the past in the wrestling business. So what? She was the only, you know, women's intercontinental. And I get it. It's a big deal. Don't get me wrong. I, I would put her in the Hall of Fame, but I get why they're not putting her in the Hall of Fame because I'm not the owner of a publicly traded company. But if I was, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't put her in the company. I mean, in the, in the Hall of Fame. I got but uh, she definitely deserves it. I think she was a huge portion of the Attitude Era. She was different. China is probably one of the most you know, unique female wrestlers. I definitely respect her, but I think what she's done after wrestling definitely ruined her uh, chances of going in the Hall of Fame anytime soon in the next uh, upcoming year. So, I don't know, man. I'm glad she's cleaned up, though. I, I, I assume she's cleaned up. She seems like she's kind of sober 
in her latest videos. Yeah, and her latest video, and even on Twitter, she seems a little more uh, sane, aware, yeah. aware, lucid, whatever. So that's good. No, that was definitely good. But um, yeah, I mean, they, you know, he talked about the booking and talked about Roman Reigns. Steve didn't go right what? in and say. I don't think Roman's ready like he has on his show, but I didn't expect it to be either. No, but I, dude, I, I respect him for just coming out and, and, and fucking speaking his mind. Though. I mean, he came out and basically said, he basically, I mean, he didn't come out and, and say it. And that's how I took it. Let's, let, let's put it that way. That's, this is my opinion. I think basically with what he was talking about with the Royal Rumble and how it's, it's really creative that it, you know, the fucking booking goes through 16 different people, and then ultimately the only person that that their opinion matters is, is Vince. He was basically saying that a lot of different different fucking ideas were brought to Vince, and this is what Vince went with. So mm-hmm. I don't. I'm guessing he probably didn't like how the Royal Rumble went down. I probably think that he 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 probably went against it actually. Well, he but, did. Uh, he, it, I, even, even, even he, because he did a podcast with Wade Keller right after it, and was talking about it. And yeah, he he didn't, but he was. I mean, you know, Steve. He's he kind of toes that line a little bit. Um, doesn't want to completely trash WWE, but you know, doesn't want to completely be IWC either. So, well, um, you should you should see Sam, uh, fucking not Sam Sam Roberts, dude. I mean. Love you know, that like, guy, man. Enjoy his stuff all the time. But Jesus Christ, man, you don't have to be that PC. I mean, I know he's trying to get a job with WWE and everything. I, it's I that. Hear you, but it's that. And he even admitted he grew up on WWE. He was not a WCW guy. Um, he was also a you know, a, it, it's 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 what he's been brought up with. So he he knows he he's kind of a he he's even said on the show this week. You know, people call me a shill for what I do, but. I I enjoy watching what I watch. I wouldn't watch it if I didn't. So I don't know. Sam ain't that bad. I mean, dude, come on, man. At the the he... interview with Roman Reigns, and I I don't want to get into that right now. But <laughs> since we're talking about Sam Roberts, I'll, I'll say this. Let's go ahead and get when it. When Roman Reigns, <laughs> what was that? We can. Who cares? When Roman Reigns came out, and this fucking guy said that he invented the spear <laughs> and he invented the Superman punch. Now, the name is Superman Punch. Yeah. Which would lead you to believe that it's not his punch, <laughs> but yet this guy comes out and says that he invented the Superman Punch. I mean, come on. It's a fucking punch, dude. You jump up and you punch. It's not like you created, you know, some Prince Puma fucking finishing move with a 680 splash or whatever it is. That's something to say that you invented. I mean, a, a Superman Punch. And mind you, this interview was before the Rumble. So, it, honestly, take, put let that sink into your brain cells for a second. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything for a couple seconds. Just let that sink in and see how big of a fucking douchebag this guy came off. He seems so arrogant, dude. He just comes off like the biggest, you know, fucking egotistical maniac ever, man. He came out and basically just said, yeah, I don't give a shit what the fans say because they can't lock up with me in the ring. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? I he did say that, like an did. idiot. He did say that. I bet none of them could lock up. Hey, did you ever see Eric Young locking up with the fans? They were doing it fine. Right. Did you? Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. I mean, how many people were talking about the the, the, the Super Bowl this week? God, everybody. Now, can every single one of them... Be a running back? No. Or a quarterback, whatever? No, neither. All right. So, the fuck, man? They can still express their opinion. That doesn't matter. Just because somebody can't lock up with you and take a fake bump doesn't mean that they, they, they can't voice their opinion on what they pay for. I mean, it's that's so moronic to me, man. I, just, I don't get it. That was a stupid move on his part. And WWE should honestly put this on playback for 15 times and just fucking, you know, just, just look at this guy and, and be like, no, this it's not him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I'll tell you what, though. He sounded like a different person in the interview. He sounded better without having a script in front of him. Well, he did, yeah. 
he, he did. did, but he, he he sounds like a fucking heel, man. Turn this guy heel, please. Yeah, he definitely needs to do a little uh, switcheroo. Uh, I'll totally agree with that. Yeah, just uh, when he came out, I mean, certain things that he said, man, it just it just rubbed me the wrong way. Him coming out and saying basically he doesn't care what people say, but he listens to the critics, but he doesn't care what they say, which doesn't make sense to me. It's like. Okay, so you don't care what they say, but yet you listen? What's the point of that? Doesn't make sense. Either no, way. Doesn't. This but guy, uh, man, I, and I'm sure a lot of these re- wrestlers listen to these podcasts. I'm not saying ours, just, you know, all these podcasts. I'm saying Jericho's podcast. They probably listen to those podcasts. I'm sure they do. So they, they listen to the criticism, and I'm sure they they don't like it because everybody clearly has something against Roman Reigns' promos and the way he's being pushed and booked. So this yeah. guy comes out and says he doesn't care about anybody's criticism of, of his ability in the ring or his promo skills and all this stuff. And then it's like, all right, well, if you don't care, probably shouldn't be in this business, man. Because, I mean, ultimately, those are the people that are going to get you over. So when you do public interviews like this and, and you know, no kayfabe and all that bullshit, when you do interviews like this and they're about to give you a big push, you probably shouldn't be saying this. And he comes out and he says, either way, I don't care because, you know, after all, I'm getting rich. Of your sweet, sweet tears. That, like, that was... Heelish. That was, you know, that was the biggest punchline right there. You know, that that, that killed it for me. Well, um, like... Either way, I'm getting rich. Oh, yeah. God, this guy is John Cena all over. Fuck. Oh, yeah. And like Body said in the chat room, he, he said he put a good twist on the spear. Yeah, what? come on. How can you how can you put a twist on the spear? You run, you jump, you hit. It's over. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he said he said his own words. He said I made it my own. How? I don't Goldberg know. Goldberg did it, man. Rhino did it. Fucking Edge did it for God's sake. I mean, who else did it, man? A bunch of other people did it. I wonder if um wonder if... if he was uh talking to uh Randy. You made it your own, dog. You made it your own. Nah, Jesus. American Idol. <laughs> All right. I should yeah, dude, there, it was it was bad, man. It was that was a bad, bad interview. I don't know. I, I thought it, it. I thought it was. It was funny. I definitely laughed my ass off a few times. <laughs> no, it was funny because the guy comes off like a douche. But if you're looking at it from from their perspective and their and their point of view, this is bad because this guy is going to be your public speaker. And he's going out there and saying, either way, I'm just getting rich. I don't give a fuck, man. That's, I mean. He can't do the speak. They going from guys. John Cena, going from PC John Cena to this guy. Yeah, they I have... mean, I'm fine with it because he's, if he's, hey, if he's going to be a heel and he's a dick like this, I'm completely fine with it. That's gold. That's yeah. gold. I'm, I have no problem with that. I think they're going to need to, uh, they're going to need to give him a mouthpiece because it's not going to go over. Oh, yeah, he's, he's definitely going to be a heel. They need to do it quick. I'm telling you the best way to do it. Like I, like, like, I, like I said, do it at either Fastlane or Mania, and Paul Heyman turns on Brock. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Mania, man. He's going to turn on Brock. Yeah. I think it would be the best way to do it and the, the, the cleanest way. Now, back back to the Triple H one, because I don't – is there anything else you want to talk about as far as the Roman um, Reigns interview? Well, we kind of, I mean, there was a Roman Reigns, and actually that was Steve's second question after the whole reality era. And then he talked about Cena a little bit. Um, didn't say, you know, basically Triple H was just talking about how great Cena, Cena's merchandise sales are, and that's basically all they really care about, it seems like to me. Uh, I asked well, about Ke- Kevin Owens is coming for him, apparently. Kevin Owens, man, they were... Th- they're loving him because of his merch sales. Absolutely, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, that means uh, yeah. when he when he debuts on the roster, he'll be a fucking clown because you know WWE didn't get him over. He got over organically, so they hate that. Oh, he brought so. he brought fans with him. You punk motherfucker, bringing people, new people to watch our show. How? Yeah, you dare bastard. You? you mean they're gonna you sign up? You bastardized our show. Oh, you bring indie fans here. Fucking indie marks. Yeah. God damn, you brought the IWC to the WWE. There you, you go. Son of a bitch. 
There you go. Let's see. He brought up, uh, he talked about Daniel Bryan. I thought Triple H dodged a Daniel Bryan a little bit. I, I thought he just kind of swayed past it a little bit. And uh, Steve kind of took it and just decided to go to the next question, which was his, uh, what would his exit strategy be if he didn't marry Stephanie? Yeah. Dude, one thing, let, please let me, let me oh, touch on this real quick. Go, go, go. This, 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 honestly, this was the one part of the interview that really pissed me off cool. was when Triple H was talking about, and I think this was the same time that you were just mentioning. When Triple H was talking about how this is a different era and this is a reality era, so you got five-year-olds watching, you got grandpas, you got the 22-year-olds, to the 25-year-olds with their friends and all that stuff. Do you, remember, do you recall this? I sure do. All right. And he, basically he was just saying different, you know, different demographics and how there's different people watching, so they have a different type of crowd and they have to cater to everybody so they have to be PC and all this bullshit. I understand, okay? So he comes out and he says, well, back in the day it was different because, you know, we just we pushed out Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock because that's what the people wanted. Nowadays it's different because we've got so many different demographics that we have to cater to. So, we, you know, it's harder to come up with a guy that everybody likes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, you have that. It's fucking Daniel Bryan, dude. Are you blind? The whole crowd, from babies to grandpas, are doing the yes chant. Yep. You fucking kidding me? Yep. How can that's 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 the one thing that Austin just kind of let him blow past. That kind of just pissed me off. When he said that, he should have asked him, "Well, what about Daniel Bryan? He's over with everybody. He hasn't. He has never been arrested for any stupid shit. He can. He can. He can be the guy. I don't get it. The 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 you know people my age like him, older people like him, grandpas like him, the IWC likes him, you know the moms against WWE like him because he's a vegan. So what the fuck, man? Push this guy. I don't get it. Moms against WWE. They love him. The soccer moms love him. He eats vegan stuff. It's good stuff, man. Go ahead, just push this guy, man. Just do it. You know, do just, it. I mean, dude. It, I mean, wrestling is so easy because the. the your fucking consumers are right there. They're actually speaking to you if you just listen. You know, you can't go wrong in wrestling if you actually listen to the fans because they're telling you what they'll pay for. They're telling you that right now. Oh. They're doing it with the yes chant. They're saying, "Hey, you put out some some good shirts that are not fucking corny with a goat on it, and us doing the, the yes chant. We'll buy that, but just don't put a goat on it so a grown ass man can actually wear that without looking like a fool. You know, give me that and I'll buy it. They're yeah. saying that." But no, they'll give you more John Cena because that, you know, 20% of the kids like that and it's, you know, what they like and, and Vince McMahon has a boner for Cena. That's basically what it is. So There you go. There you go. That was my rant of the night. But that, that really pissed me off, man, because he was, and it, that, that just, that, that fucking, that staff of my mind. He just, it's right there, dude. The guy that you're looking for, the guy you just described is the guy reaching for that so-called brass ring and you're just taken away from him. I think you're right, damn it. Shit. 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 I do. I think you're right. Um, you've got him. You've got uh, Cesaro. You've got Ziggler. The crowd is going crazy for all three of them. Oh, C Cesaro. Come on, man. I I'm the biggest Cesaro fan of that guy is done in WWE. No, oh, they can That's only it. blame themselves. That's... They can only blame Dude, themselves. Dude, that guy is chalked. He is fucking chalked. You think so? Chalked like a dead body. Outline and chalk. Dead body. Gone. Jeez, you think it's that bad already? I mean, look at him. The what did Triple H say? He said he said no matter what we think, ultimately it's Vince. What did Vince say about Cesaro? And <laughs> there's your answer, man. The guy he's... is fucking dead to him. He's Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, so, that's, that's what he said. Yeah. He, he's Swiss. No, he said that. Yeah, he said he's Swiss and that he can't get over with the crowd. He can't connect with the crowd. That's what Vince believes. So he's the only guy that matters. And if he thinks that you can't connect with the crowd, you're not getting over, dude. Not happening. They should have had Benny Hill music playing over Vince when he was doing the interview. They should. There you they go. They should. That's that's the same. That's the same era he's stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> hey Vince, what about Cesaro? Well, he's Swiss. Oh my God! <laughs> what the fuck?
fucking <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, in, in all honesty, man. I mean, now look at the look at the reaction that Daniel Bryan is getting right now, right? That's like the biggest reaction that somebody's got, you know, on on a weekly basis since probably like Austin and Rock. No one's got this over, right? Would you say that? I I, I would agree. Yeah. All right. So, and and Vince and and the company doesn't think he's over. They think it's the yes chant that's over. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Okay. So if that guy can't connect with the crowd in their eyes still, believe me, Cesaro is never going to connect to the crowd in their eyes. No matter if he actually is or not, he probably will connect to the crowd again. They just won't see it, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's, 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 that's the problem that they have, and I just I don't get it. And, you know, all these times, we, we oh, it, just, it, it fucking drives us crazy because we're like, dude, it's so simple. Why didn't you just do this? Now it makes sense because now we know it is just Vince. So I'm sure all those 26 writers probably aren't all idiots. They probably have better shit. You know, to Vince, he probably shuts and he shuts down all the good stuff and says no. Give him the you know the fucking Looney Tunes gimmick and do all this bullshit. And by the way, the bunny is dead, so that's good. Oh, they finally killed the bunny. Thank God. They killed the goddamn bunny, man. Thank, thank you, Vince. That was a really annoying thing, but I don't know. You you never know. He could come back at any time. Oh God! Please no. Yeah. Just give me the boogeyman, please. Give me the boogeyman. Dude, I'm I don't need the boogie. bunny. Down with the boogeyman. I am down with the boogeyman, man. Me too. Give me boogeyman. Give me Papa Shango. Fuck! Give me Skinner over the bunny, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> give me the Beverly Brothers. I'll take those guys over the bunny. <laughs> you know? I got you, man. Why not? Why not? I agree. Why not? There you go. Why not? Why the fuck not? No. Yep. I agree. That's um, it. What else? What else did he uh, talk about? Um, from the let's see, we were on the let's see, independent, the performance center. Blah blah NXT. This this is where he talked about NXT. We kind of went into that already. Um, Undertaker. I had no doubt. You know that the, 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 there was no surprises with what he was saying about Taker. Um, yeah. China, Triple H's dream opponent, Buddy Rogers. Yeah, that was kind of neat. I think that's interesting because of how much of a of a nature you know a, 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 a Ric Flair mark he is too. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, but Ric Flair is a, is a Buddy Rogers mark, so... Exactly. That's what made it a little... It, it kind of all pieced, pieced itself together, so... Uh, yeah. You know, and Punk basically kind of gave the same answer Vince did without the apology. You know, oh, I never had a problem with him. He never mentioned any of this to me, so... Uh, when he, next was Paul Heyman. Um, I did like his line about Paul Heyman, the fine line between crazy and genius, and he rides that line like a razor blade. Yeah, it's true. Um, pro Absolutely wrestling. true. I, I I did like how he uh he didn't kind of shit on the indies like Vince would have. Yeah. And he, he actually said like some guys need the indies to get over, and some guys can just come to the developmental and and you know be the next Kurt Angle possibly. Um, I like that because that's again that's living in reality. You know, <laughs> it's not like Vince where he's just like oh those those small time. Dude, your your whole fucking roster is made of small guys, small time guys. You know, I I don't care, man. Yeah, and they're all over. All those small time indie guys are the ones who are over. Exactly, and and by the way, you know how people say the territories have died, and I, I get it, NWA territory died. I I get it, you know. But what is the difference between the territories and the indies right now? Not much. Like honestly, well, how is it dead? It's the same shit. It's the same concept. Well, the only difference was for a while there, territories, people didn't go in someone else's territory. You worked your own territory. Indies now can yeah, go but I mean, that's, that's what they're pretty much doing now, though. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, but there's no, all right, well, I'm, you know, you're in Virginia, so I'm not going to go in Virginia. Now, you know, you may get three or four different promotions there. Yeah, but they, they still traded, like, the top guys, though. Yeah. Ric Flair used to used to go to all the territories and defend the title and all that stuff. 
And I mean, right now, another another plug for PWS, Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Look at him. Kevin Matthews, he doesn't do any, any other indie shows other than uh, PWS. And uh, Justin Gabriel actually signed a contract with PWS. So, I mean, yeah, that's where he's kind of still live. Yeah, I read something about him today. A little, they had a little more details on how he, uh, why he decided to leave. So yeah, yeah. Look, look at CZW. Same thing. CZW, Ring of Honor. Same shit. Ring of Honor. I mean, they travel, but if if they were to stay in the same spot, it's a, it's pretty much a territory. Their talent doesn't travel. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I, I guess. I mean, I'm I'm sure there's a. Uh... Some things that are the same and some things that are different, but who knows? At least you yeah, I mean, I, it's not exactly the same. I mean, like the overall concept of you know small time wrestling and these guys kind of you know make it big and then they go to a different place. That's that's what I mean. Yeah, I agree. I guess. But uh, since since you mentioned uh, Justin Gabriel, what happened with that guy? I was just saying how you know he kept going. You know he'd show up at Raw and they'd oh we got nothing for you. We got nothing for you. So, you know, he said, you know, the, he decided to go sightseeing wherever he was at. And uh, he gets a call. Hey, I'm trying to find you. We got a, we got something for you. And he goes, well, I don't want to work there anymore. <laughs> so a few days awesome. went by and they <laughs> granted him his release. Yeah. Thank you for having some, uh, having a sack of balls. Good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You got to give him a little credit for that. Uh Good man, good man. So, uh, yeah, and then um, let's see. Kinda, what, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird how how he didn't uh, go to Ring of Honor or TNA though. That's what I was expecting. Well, he probably couldn't do that right now. I mean, maybe when the contract is up, he can do something bigger and get televised again. But he might have just wanted to get some money in his pocket, and he's got probably got a ninety day non compete. So he can't do True. a Ring of Honor or a TNA, but he can go to a small company that's probably only going to, you know, not going to be televised. So, well, hey. the thing is, PWS is now televised. Really? I mean, well, yeah, they're, yeah, New York and uh, New Jersey. I mean, it's still like a small portion of the country, but yeah, it's televised nonetheless. He may not be able to be there, be doing any televised wrestling for a few months. Yeah, that might be. If not, I mean, I don't know. I mean, a lot, a lot of people are saying that their con that WWE's contracts are fucking not worth the paper they're written on because they can't do that to an independent contractor. So, yeah, look at CM Punk, man. I mean, and that is, I mean, that's bullshit, man. They should stop labeling these guys independent contractors if you're gonna hold them liable for all this shit. Well, you can't unionize them. You can't do that. Oh. He would have so many people. No, there's no way, dude. First of all, they'd have to all be SAG if that happened. They'd have to all get the uh, st uh, uh, Studio Actors Guild cards or whatever, Screen Actors Guild cards. And then they'd all be unionized, and then Vince couldn't treat them the way he treats them. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. You know? I guess you the, can't, can't treat, them, treat them like shit once they're unionized. <laughs> no. Look at Vince, man. God damn it, Vince McMahon. Wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, then, and that's all it would take, those fucking SAG cards, and they would be treated like actors instead of treated like wrestlers. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I know a few of those guys have to have them. I'm sure Cena's got one, a oh, SAG card. I mean, he's done movies, so. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't see it ever happening. It could one day, but I don't see it happening. Probably not. No. No. So, all right, back to this. Uh, let's see. He asked the yeah, Pro Wrestling Sports Entertainment. We just talked about that. Uh, then he asked about the last play of the Super Bowl, and I was like, you're fucking wasting time with this bullshit. Well, we got we got the 10 minutes back after he, uh, he yelled at Kevin Dunn. Yeah, yeah. And Steve asked a good question here, you know, on the pre-scripted pre promos. Um I'd like to meet the guys that want to be scripted, and I would take those guys and I would show them the fucking door. Yeah. Well, let's let's take a guess. Who do you think wants pre wants a scripted uh, fucking promos? Oh, oh, we're guessing here. I would say guys like. Uh, 
I would say like a um, like a Tyson kid probably would want him scripted. No, no. Oh yeah, you think I so? Think, I would. I would think so. I would think guys like that who aren't just confident with their mic skills. I would think. I mean, I'll even. I I, I think even even like a Zack Ryder would want all his lines written out. I don't know. I, I think I, I would think a guy I would think your guys who don't want it would be like a Cesaro. <laughs> a John Cena probably gets bullet points, which I they probably should stop that too. <laughs> um They should probably just stop paying this guy and I mean it doesn't make sense for them to stop paying this guy, but just do me that favor. And just just retire, please. I'm begging you. Yeah. Please. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Please. I, I really would like to meet Pretty the guys. Who, who do you think wants their scripts written for them? Uh, who do I think wants it? Ah, dude, that's tough. Besides, um, besides probably all the divas. Probably, yeah, for, yeah, probably the divas. Guys like probably like Titus O'Neil. Okay. Um, I would say the Ascension uh, probably. I, Both those guys probably... Are scripted. Oh, they're definitely. I mean, come on, man. I don't think bread they could... to shred. <laughs> Poor oh. bread to rip and shred. I like that. They need a T-shirt. Ooh, ooh, oh, Jesus Christ, man! That sounds like a bad fucking line from the eighties, like a B movie. <laughs> come on, man! You gotta love that shit. <laughs> it's like the Newcom High type of line, man. They even look like they're from fucking uh, Newcom High. Oh God. They're horrible. Who else do you think? Um, man, I don't think Cesaro. I think Cesaro is, is one of those guys that you could really benefit from uh, unscripted promos and just just go out there organically and just get over. I think he might and be you, one of the guys really that. Good. Yeah, I think he might be. I think Cesaro and a couple like Brian are guys that will take the script and switch it to their words. I think Dean Ambrose is, is one of those guys that probably gets full of points, don't you? I would think. He he kind of hinted to that in a uh, interview with, um, what was it, Jericho, I think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he kind of hinted towards that, how they're kind of leaving him to his own devices and and things like that, but I don't know. I, I, it, it, it yeah, was a good it question, wouldn't though. surprise me. No, but it, it, it was a good question. I don't know. I, 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 it was entertaining, not as entertaining as Vince, but, um, I don't know. You think Stephanie's next? Yeah, I think Steph is next and then probably John Cena. Ugh. Steph, John Cena, Paul Heyman, guys like that. Oh, Heyman would be a good one. But yeah, I don't, would really I don't know. Oh, he's they'll... done a couple with him. He has. I don't know if they'll let him do something like that with Paul Heyman on the network. Heyman could get um, wordy. <laughs> well, he he did the live uh, ECW special with with um, Joey Styles. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I stand corrected, sir. I I you know what? I, I really like Triple H uh, shitting on on Kevin Dunn though. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I don't like that guy, man. All I've heard about that guy is just bad stuff. That's funny. That guy seems like a dick. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Well, I think we've talked enough about uh, Triple H on, on Austin's podcast, and we've talked about Roman Reigns, we've talked about Lucha Underground. What else do we have? We have Raw. Yep. Yep. And do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about any news right now, and then we will just get into Raw? We could take a little, uh, little, little news inter intermission. What do you, what do you got? Uh, I don't have internet, sir. Oh shit! You got no internet. Um, looks like Tough Enough is coming back to the USA Network. Yeah, hopefully, uh, we won't get guys like you know Josh Matthews and shit like that. Yep, saying one of the contestants will be a third generation wrestler. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's uh oh. What, what do you think about. it is? Rumor is it is Tessa Blanchard. Uh. Daughter of F Hall of Famer Tully Blanchard. That's, uh. that's the. I don't know. That's don't, the rumor. Don't really care for that. 
You uh, sorry. <laughs> I'd, be, I, I'd be all right with it. Is she is she good looking? Yeah, yeah, she's decent. She kind of has a little. She's kind of like Charlotte, you know, be a little too much of her daddy in her. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, uh, Charlotte is a uh, not good looking to me. I would post a picture, but you can't see. Well, I mean, you could. You don't have a tablet or anything, do you? Yeah, I can. I can see it on there. But you could, uh, you, you could go in the chat room on the tablet, so and I could post yeah. it. But no, I could post it on Facebook. I'll I'll, I'll post some Tessa Blanchard pictures later. We ain't we, we, we don't need to get into that shit. She, she ain't bad looking. She's yeah. uh decent, decent looking, good looking girl. Nice. Wouldn't kick her out of bed but, for uh, uh, wouldn't wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. I don't know, man. I, I don't really care for talking up too much, so this doesn't really I like excite it. me too much. But. I like it. I, I've, 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 there aren't many, um, there aren't a lot of reality shows I like, but I, I, I like tough enough. Yeah. I did find a nice little reality show I like, but it's got nothing to do with wrestling, but whatever. I just want to see a reality show about how Vince is losing his fucking mind. Yeah, you probably won't get that one for a while. <laughs> I, I I know. I just wish I could, man. Yeah. He yeah. must be getting old, man. He, he, I mean, to not hear that crowd reaction that Daniel Bryan gets at this. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, I agree. Crazy, um, crazy, crazy. I totally agree. Let's see. What else we got? We got um, Impact. Last week, um, their first show didn't do so good. They only got 431 viewers. Um, yeah. But they had 153,000 on their replay. So that was up 36%. So total, they got 584,000. You got to remember this. I mean, actually, no, I'm sorry. The total was 603,000. No, 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 no. I was right. 584. So that's not horrible. It's not bad at all. That's not bad, especially on a station that was only getting two two hundred and fifty thousand viewers for their largest show. So, you know, let's hope they can keep pulling these numbers. But I mean, their numbers are going up, which kind of surprises me. You kind of expect their numbers to start leveling out, but I don't know. And I mean, now yeah. you can watch on Canada via YouTube. True. Yeah. I mean, I I I think it's pretty good numbers for uh, Destination America. Yeah, Destination America. America. Destination America. There you go. America. There you go. There's a nice picture of Tessa Blanchard right there. Here you go. I'll post this on, on the Facebook. This was from Body in the Chat, but I'll drop it on the Facebook for you. Here you go. A little Tessa Blanchard action. By the way, folks, you can go ahead and uh, go to Facebook.com slash groups slash THT podcast. There should be a link for the chat if you want to join the chat all the good pictures and all that nonsense that, that usually goes on in the chat room. Nonsense in a good way. There you go. Okay. By the way, thank you for, uh, thank, thanks everyone. I know you thanked everybody. I didn't. <laughs> uh, thanks everyone for downloading. Definitely definitely got some, some good numbers in the last uh, two weeks. So, greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys stay tuned, man. Stay tuned because uh, should be better stuff coming up. Nice. All right, I posted that picture for you. If you want to give her a little, give her a little nice. once over when you get a chance. Um, there, I mean, there, there's yeah, not that much news this week. I mean, let me see. I didn't see too much news, man. I'm sorry. Well, let's talk about Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler possibly uh, facing off at WrestleMania and opening the show. Go for it. Do you think this is actually going to happen, or do you think Daniel Bryan is going to get pushed into the main event once again? I don't think he's going to get pushed into the main event. I think they're going to kind of give you a little a, a little, a little cock tease like he's going to, but then I think that, uh, that that's going to be it. I, I really don't think they're going to do it, but I think they're going to try to appease the audience by giving you a little a little taste, um, I wouldn't mind if him and Ziggler had a match. I think that'd be fine. I mean, a slightly step down for Daniel, yes, but 
I don't know. That's a, a big step down, dude. He main evented last WrestleMania, and he's going to open I the show know. this year. That's I know. That's well, a huge step down. Well, who knows where that would really be on the card once it came to WrestleMania. Let's, you know, let's... let's I mean, let's... either way, I mean, honestly, he'd probably be better off to start the show. That way it sets, sets the tone for the show. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, I mean, man. I, I don't think Daniel Bryan is going to... He's going to get into the main event once again. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think Vince has given in this year. Um, I think you're going to get Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, and Roman Reigns is probably going to defeat him, and Daniel Bryan is going to put him over, and we're supposed to give in and, and celebrate with them. And ultimately, I can, dude, if they did that in Philly again, I think <laughs> Daniel Bryan would probably get, start getting booed. He, dude, they're, they're going to push it to where he gets booed anyway soon. They keep doing this shit. They're yeah. not going to be booing him. They're going to be booing the situation he's in. Yeah. You know. And, I, and I mean, do you do you find it funny how they're just like blaming my city, man? They're just shitting on us. Well, Don't blame us, dude. It's, I gotta it's tell not you. Philly's fault. It's not. It feel it wasn't the it wasn't the crowd reaction just from Philly. If this was anywhere, it would have got shat on. Well, they weren't booing Reigns last night. Not as much. Although, I will say this, there were times last night where I had to wonder if the crowd was alive. And then I remembered they're in Colorado. They're fucking stoned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, they're That's in true. Colorado. That's why they're all fucked up. Yeah, they smoke weed every day, man. Yeah, they all just came in there fucking baked and they're like, yo, show us some wrestling, motherfuckers. Yeah, I did. Uh, Want to watch some wrestling, man? Saturday, man. Are we at Lucha Fucking Underground? Wrestle, man. Is this Lucha Underground, bro? Oh, dude, I thought I was going to Lucha Underground. Uh, this is pretty cool. cool. This is pretty dope. This isn't California. Cool. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude, I'm like totally fucking bugging out, man. I thought we were going to a rock concert, man. It's fucking creepy as shit, dude. <laughs> Got this fucking masked man sitting next to me, and he's talking about Boogie Man being down and shit, dude. I'm like freaking what, out. What would you have done if Boogie Man, if that weird dude was sitting next to you? <laughs> you have to ask the guy, like, dude, who the fuck are you, man? Uh, you okay, you have to let me know at least, man. You're sitting next to me. This is fucking creepy. Let me yeah. know who you are, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You help me out. You're scaring the shit out of me. Yeah, help just, me out. <laughs> Yeah, I have to know for my own safety, man. I got to know who the fuck you are, dude. You can't just sit next to me with a fucking, you know, scarf on your face and just sit here the whole show while I'm just patiently waiting for you to expose yourself and come out only to be the boogeyman, which is fine with me. I love the boogeyman. I was hoping it was Sting. You were hoping it was Kane? I was hoping it was Sting. Fuck Kane. Sting. Oh, I thought Sting. you said Kane. I was about to hang up on you. <laughs> Don't do like, that. Oh, fuck this guy. Are you kidding me? Kane? Like, Bang. Like Hanging I'm up going, on this guy right now. Looks like I'm going over all myself. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Match number one. But, uh, well, let's let's talk about the Boogeyman for a minute. What do you think they're doing with the Boogeyman? I mean, uh, that was weird. I mean, they had the guy sitting in the crowd, and he didn't even do anything. I don't know. Maybe he's, I mean, does he live around there, maybe? I mean, even if he does, what was the purpose? He didn't do anything. I don't know. Fucking weird. It, 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 it looked weird. I mean, you posted the picture. That's why I put Sting. I kind of figured it was Sting. I'm like, oh, Sting's yeah. going to come out and attack Triple H. Yes, I can't wait to see it. And then and then I read that article last night, like, a little while later, and it was like, it's the boogeyman. I'm like, well, fucking bring his ass out there. I want to see that shit. Yeah. What are you doing over there? you building a house? No, I'm sorry. I had to move my mic. It, it. I, I, I had to sit. I had to sit back. My, my, my pants are starting to bunch up on me. Nice. By the way, New Japan Pro Wrestling is uh, offering a free month of New Japan World. Yes. So. Yes. Oh, I forgot. I did post. I have posted some news this week in the chat room in the uh, on the Facebook, haven't I? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. uh, check that out, man. New Japan is know. fucking awesome. You don't know. You're right. They do have a. Uh, you're right. They do have um, a free month this month. Uh, let me see if I can get the. Here we go. It's right here. Give me two seconds to get the site pulled up, and I will actually. 
mention the link for New Japan too. Do, 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 All right. NJPW free month of of New Japan World this month, so I guess they're uh, pulling the um, pulling the old uh, WWE Network thing. So uh, it is njpwworld.com slash sign up if you guys want to go. So I'm actually thinking of doing this for the month. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had uh, internet and my dog didn't piss on my router so I could watch this. But <laughs> I'll have to wait a few days. Did Did you piss on your dog after you pissed? After you found out? No, but I'm I'm, I'm thinking about it now. That I probably should take a leak on this guy for doing yeah, that. I'm not sure he'll know what's going on from there. But yeah, you can do what you got to do. Man. <laughs> uh, you, you do whatever you got to do, bro. Can't even do my homework, man. Some bullshit. I'm sorry, man. I'm totally sorry. Um, let's see. I know. My teacher's never going to believe me. Uh, <laughs> my dog pissed on my router, dude. You ain't going to make that my homework. You ain't making that one up, man. I would hope not. But um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, our WWE eyeing two ROH stars. Uh, Mandy Leone, one of them. Uh, she was a rosebud, I think, last week or the week before. So, yeah. And they're also looking at that guy, uh, Moose Quinn. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that guy. They can take him. That's fine. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm not even gonna say his last name. Um, I'm not even gonna butcher it. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna call him Moose Quinn. You're talking about the football player, right? Yes, sir. Black dude. Yes, sir. The yeah. new guy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of that guy. Man. No, the new guy I saw with. Um, I mean, I saw him and I, I saw his first promo and it was like, good lord. Yeah, he's not very good. But, I actually thought he was probably going to be decent when I first saw him, when they debuted him at their first pay-per-view, I believe. But uh, after I watched him, he's not very good. No, not very good at all. So No. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's as good as, like, you know, fucking, like, Ezekiel Jackson and Tyrus and all those guys. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of Tyrus, did, not you, see very the, good. Uh, did you see that little video with... with um? Uh, EC3 and um, Tyrus. Oh, uh, where he was uh talking about fucking. We was kind of hinting at the whole Brodus Clay gimmick. He he took a Make jab a at his at his own gimmick. I loved it. I thought it was great. I really liked it. <laughs> that was brilliant, man. It was pretty funny, and I'm. And, you you yeah, can tell he hated that shit, man. You know he hated that. Oh hell yeah, I knew he did. Yeah. Not oh, a, yeah. I mean, it's not a surprise. No, not at all. You got, this, you got this badass dude that was a security guard for Snoop Dogg, and he comes out, and they make him a fucking fu funky dinosaur. Like, what, man? Are you kidding me? You made him into Barney? A dancing Barney? This <laughs> this is what you came up with for this guy? Yeah. yeah Don't exactly. get it. Exactly. Exactly. And he's not very good in the ring, but he, he looks intimidating, so why not use that and, and you know, get that him over you. using that? that but no, is... they, they made him a fucking... You know, dancing gimmick with, you know, yeah. didn't they bring his a bunch of dancing moms out at, at a WrestleMania with that guy? Yeah, one WrestleMania, and yeah. I, I, I think he's as good in in the ring as anyone else that's come out of NXT. No, I, no, he, dude, he's no good, man. Come on, I don't know. He tries. That's that's a good thing. But here's that doesn't matter, man. If you're I not know. good, you're not good. I don't care if you're trying or not. I like the guy. Get, man, he was Snoop I mean, Dogg's I like bodyguard. Him. Don't get me wrong, I like Brodus Clay, but I just I don't think he's good though. He was Snoop Dogg's bodyguard. You know he's just just smoking weed. <laughs> nah, probably not, man. <laughs> that dude, he's he's he looks like he's no fun. He, I think he just reads comic books. Oh yeah, one of those guys. Great fun party time. Excellent. Um, yeah. Anyway. Here's something. Here, we're talking about fun. Funny. You want to know what was funny? It appears that Bad News Barrett, um, when WWE last year made their little return to Chicago and everybody was saying, Punk's coming back, Punk's coming back. Looks like Barrett, Bad News Barrett, was supposed to come out as CM Punk. Um, looks like it was actually in the script until about 30 minutes before the show, and they pulled it. 
I would have loved this. Yeah, we actually we talked about it on the show, saying that they should do that. And it looks like it was actually supposed to happen, and I really wish they would, but... Yeah, it would have been gold, man. That would have been awesome. Yeah, yeah. And he and he he talked about this on um, Chris Jericho's podcast. If you want to hear more about it. But, now, why didn't they do it? Did, were they afraid that a riot was going to break out because it's Chicago or what? I don't know. Um, it said I don't know. He he says he thinks Paul Heyman ended up doing something kind of similar, but um, I don't know. Maybe they thought it was disrespectful and. I doubt it. I doubt. It. I have no clue why. It's, come on, man. It's it's wrestling, man. It's, come on. Jesus Christ. It's, it's fucking wrestling. Yeah, I got no. You're clue. Not running for governor, man. This is wrestling. It's no, dirty. but his wife is running for office again. And I'm she's sure. Lost, so uh, you don't think she's gonna run again? I hope not. Stop oh. wasting money. Oh, trust me. Trust me, my man. Wait Trust money, me. Then. She will run again. Again. Dude, all they got to do is play back the, the videos of her sitting in a wheelchair while her husband is kissing Trish Stratus. That's pretty much what they do. That's all they have to do. They just have to do that and be like, all right, are you going to elect this lady? And you probably be like, nah, don't think so. <laughs> probably not. No, I don't. No, no, nah. Not a good feeling about this. You let your husband... Basically, just like, you know, I can make out with another chick right right by you for, for money. For money, man. Probably don't have good morals. Money, 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 money. money. Yeah, but money. would you... Yeah, money, 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 money. 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 Yeah. My shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Linda, please, please stop running for, uh, for governor or... Is she running for governor? It's Is that what Senate. She's or said some Senate. I don't know. Clinton would know. I don't know. Um, there you go. Also, let's uh, real real quick, because we, 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 we talked about this. Um, Alberto Del Rio explains why he decided to go to um, uh, why he decided not to go to TNA and decided to go where he went. Um, basically, he said. You know, AAA, which is Lucha Underground, is AAA. AAA helped him with all his attorney stuff and, you know, took care of him when he was uh, fighting WWE. So that's pretty much the reason. He felt like he was obligated to do it and felt loyal to the company. So, you know, it it, yeah, it, 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 it had nothing to do with the TNA stench that everyone quickly jumped on. Um no, um, I, I definitely, I, I salute him for that. I, yeah. I respect that. Yeah, the, the guy had some scruples, and I, that's 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 pretty rare in the uh, in the wrestling business, from what I hear. So, good man, for him. Man, that's that's rare in society today. Just, just I agree. moral morals and values and loyalty is just something that's that's fucking kind of just gone. Yeah, yeah, and I just thought we would bring that up since we did talk about it a few weeks ago, and I thought it was a good reason, whether it's true or not. Who the fuck knows? But. You know, it's what he said, so I'll uh, I'll take his word for it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I, I like Del Rio, man. It's it, I, it's so funny how everybody that came out of uh, you know the WWE WWE machine recently seems to be doing well off without them, <laughs> which is really ironic because you would think that you know they, they wouldn't be making as much money. And I guess Del Rio said that he's almost making the same amount of money, and he's having you know, much less dates to work and he's having a time of his life. And look, look at CM Punk. He left and, you know, he's he starting to do MMA and other ventures in his life with, with comic books and all that good stuff. So, I mean, everybody's happy that, that leaves the WWE. So this seems to be a pattern. So not, yeah. it's not, not a good pattern to see and, and observe if, if, if you're the WWE. Yeah. And a lot of the guys are saying you can, there is money to be made on the indie scene. Come do it. You know, I, I, I'm yeah. not sure if it was him who said that, but someone said it, a, I read it a few weeks ago that, you know, there's plenty of money to be made out there. So, hey, shit, look at, uh, look at Brodus Clay, man. He's, he's doing indies and TNA. I'm sure he's probably making just as much money as WWE. Probably. He wasn't even on TV the last couple of months. Yeah. And probably less stressed and probably just doing what he loves and doing what he loves. You got to give it, fuck it, yeah. man. If, if you can do that, you're good to go. Yep. Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. 
Anything else? I don't think so, man. I guess we can go ahead and get into Raw if you want. Yeah. Well, how about this? Can we take a five-minute break and then uh, we get into Raw? Yeah, give me one second here. Let me move up to here. I'll have to... Do I want to pause it? I'll pause it. All right. Ladies, gentlemen, people... We are going to take a piss break. We will be right back. Right now, we are back. K -k 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 yeah. We are back indeed. In Back like we never left, man. We never left. That was just an illusion. We there never left. We've been here the whole fucking time. There you go. Of course, well, when I... The whole time. When I cut it, the you'll never know. The whole fucking time, damn it. There you go. All right. So, where were we? Are we going to go to Raw? I guess, unless you have any more news that you want to talk about. Nah, fuck all that news shit. Fuck the news. Fuck the news. Let's talk about Raw. Fuck the motherfucking news. Yeah, let's talk about Raw. Um, all right, let's talk about Raw. Raw was... Oh, I liked it. Do you liked it? Yeah, I didn't say. Oh, well, I can't say I like loved it or anything, but it wasn't as bad as the last couple weeks. Yeah, I agree. But the the the, the, the raw old school, the raw reunion, that was really good. That was way better than this one. But that's because of you know Hall and Nash and Shawn Michaels and all the other guys. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I know, but this but, one uh, this, this, this role was really interesting, man. Triple H came out, Yep. and he basically, he was put on the hot seat. And one thing that I noticed that I want to mention before I forget it was that he never mentioned the hashtag cancel WWE Network. Instead, he made a similar example out of the whole Super Bowl situation, and he compared it to the Royal Rumble situation. And right. he said that that was basically just as controversial and etc and he said you know something along the lines of you know the, the trending topic was hashtag you know cancel NFL network he never wanted to say you know WWE network which, which makes sense but I, I just thought that was interesting yeah I mean he it, I don't know it was kind of a way to address it without addressing it I guess yeah yeah like subliminally talking about it and dodging the main board yeah Pretty you much. dick. Pretty. You wouldn't. You wouldn't go face to face with the IWC. That's you probably what they think. Dick. Right? You dick. Yeah. You're a fucking dick, dude. No, but like I said, he kind of addressed it without addressing it. Yeah. You know what was weird was that they kept saying that they were going to talk about the controversy. Mm -hmm. and I was under the impression that the controversy was a crowd reaction in Philly, but no. <laughs> Apparently, the controversy was Kane and Big Show being involved in the match and Rock coming out. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was not the controversy. What and are you the, talking and, about? And they talked about it like The Rock was there to, like like he helped out in some way. He didn't do shit. <laughs> He didn't do shit. He beat up two guys that were already eliminated from the fucking Rumble. So there was... What the fuck? Don't rewrite fucking history from two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, they were already eliminated. And he had nothing to do with Rusev's elimination. So I don't really see how that pertains to the storyline. But I guess... I don't know, man. They tried to dodge it, but it was very awkward because... You know, that really wasn't the controversy. And I noticed when they played the fucking clips. Now, I'll give them credit for, for men. I mean, you can't. Uh, they don't actually deserve the credit because they had no choice but to face the fact that Roman Reigns got booed. That's kind of hard to dodge. But uh, he did mention Roman Reigns getting booed and all that stuff. But when they played the clips from the Rumble, they actually plugged a bunch of, you know, audio in there and. and kind of muted the actual fucking crowd reaction. You didn't hear as many boos. It was it was more fucking cheers than boos. I don't know if you noticed that. 
I didn't. I, I, I got to admit, I was very tuned out of this Raw. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely did, though, which was really weird to me because it's like, dude, everybody was talking about the booing, so when you eliminate the booing from the from the footage, it's just it's too obvious. Yeah, and that was a big... That that was pretty much. I mean, what everybody was was talking about was all the booing. And yeah, that was a controversy. <laughs> that I mean, was they a avoided the con- they, and they avoided talking about the controversy, and then they just fucking muted the controversy and just made up their own controversy out of nothing. I, like I had no idea that's where they were going with the whole rock. I was like, what? That's <laughs> not the controversy. What are you talking about, man? The controversy was that you gave us a. <laughs> fucking shitty pay-per-view and everybody almost rioted that that was a controversy <laughs> not rock coming out what are you talking about no i didn't think rock coming out was at all that, that, that i don't know i mean you had to know he wasn't gonna i don't know it was interesting i'll say that the way he no i, I he really thought it. he was gonna mention like the actual crowd reaction but no he didn't i was like what the fuck what is going on here man are you make why are you making a fucking corny story People were booing Big Show and Kane. Now you're putting them back into the storyline again? Please, man, stop. Please. This has to stop. Yeah. Yeah, I I guess. I don't know. It it, it was an all right segment to start the show, I guess. Um, there was a weird commercial break, though, when uh, Rollins came out. And yeah. Stephanie says, your mic isn't working. And they cut to commercial. Or no, uh, we can't even hear you. And then they cut to commercial, and it was like they never left. He comes back, and he goes, huh, live TV. Yeah. Are we supposed I, to believe I, they I, just... I like Rollins, man. He's, he's, he's getting more over and over with me every day. I think he's actually getting better on the mic as well. I think he's sounding good on the mic. I think he's kind of... Uh, harnessing his inner Shawn Michaels, if you will. I mean, he's kind of getting, you know, yeah, grasping out his voice a little bit. And... I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. And also, also, I, I, I like him in small doses. Like when you bring him out twice in a show in small doses, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. Just don't give him 20 minute promos to begin the show. That's that's where he fails. Right. You right, know, which right. makes sense. I mean, he's still new. You know, you don't want to put the guy on. And, and make him the, the main heel, which is fine. Make him the main heel. But don't start out every show with, with a Seth Rollins promo for 20 minutes. Right. He can't do that right now. Neither can Daniel Bryan. He's not, he can't do a 20-minute promo in the beginning of the show and carry the show. No, I'm sorry. I like Bryan, but it's, it's fucking boring. I, I can't watch him for 20 minutes. Right. And what are they going to do when um, Roman Reigns is out there trying to, you know, do his... Oh, uh... Jesus. God bless us, man. Fuck, I forgot about it. What the fuck are they going to do when he has to go out there and cut a fucking uh, a promo like that for 20 minutes? What, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, Vince McMahon is going to be in gorilla position with a boner, and you and I <laughs> will be here the following day bitching and complaining about it. And I'll be sitting here you know, debating suicide over overall. There you go. Don't do that, Shane. There you go. That's, and I'm just playing. That's You're going to be okay. Folks, You're going to be stop. okay. I promise. But, uh, yeah, but that's that's what's going to happen. They don't give a shit, dude. They're going to plug him out there, and they're going to they're gonna give him the mic, and they're going to give him fucking 20 minutes to talk, and we're going to sit here and, you know, and be bash pissed. our heads against the walls. Oh, hearing him for 20 minutes, I'm, it, oh, oh. Dude, I can't listen to him 20 minutes on, on the Sam Roberts podcast without a script. Just imagine him doing a script with the Looney Tunes gimmick. <laughs> the Looney Tunes you can't. Oh. I can't. I can't watch it. The, the Hanna Barbera gimmick. <laughs> yeah, he's stuck. I just dated I don't know, myself. man. He just he, he he looks like a badass, and they make him they make him out to be this fucking cornball. Well, they make everyone out to be fucking cornballs. It's like their 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 game. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they do it. I just I don't know, man. This is not '95. I know that. You know that. But do they know that? No, they don't know that. I mean, everybody else in the company probably knows that and tells Vince that, but he just brushes it off, and this is what we get. This is what we get. This is what we deserve, according to uh, Vince. 
Yeah. He says yeah. he listens to the fans, though. That's what he said at the awesome podcast. Right. One. Right. Right. He listens to the fans. This so, is, it's a I, I don't know. I guess he's. I guess he's so old. He's he's gone deaf. But he clearly didn't hear us at the at the Royal Rumble. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Didn't hear that. He heard something. But I don't and, know. And the canceled WWE Network trending. Didn't see that. Didn't see that. No, that wasn't. No, no. No, we forgot about that already. That was last week. No. All wrestling, you silly wrestling fans. You silly you fucking Cornwalls. You silly fucks, you. Jesus. You don't know you what you silly, want. You silly internet fans. You don't know what you want. I know what you want. Yeah. yeah that's that's crazy. That that's his actual mentality. He thinks he knows what we want to fool. You know, we, we want it. That's that's so so absurd this fucking crazy so I don't get it shit look, just listen to the crowd they'll tell you exactly who they want they're chanting it literally we yeah. want Ziggler we want Brian <laughs> yeah haven't heard a we want range chant yet not that I know I mean, not that he, I can he remember he still gets a pop but I mean it's any, I mean don't get me wrong he's oh. over but I just don't think he should be the main event for WrestleMania I mean for God's sake CM Punk, you would let CM Punk fucking main event WrestleMania, <laughs> and you let this guy like? Are you kidding me? Are you? Wow, poor Punk. Wow, after the pipe bomb and all that stuff, like right when that happened, dude, he should have main evented that that year's WrestleMania. Poor Punk. Yeah, I, I honestly, Punk probably he hates himself right now. Oh yeah, actually, he probably hates the WWE more than anything. More than ever, I should say, actually. Right now, yeah. And kind of yeah. can't blame him. I mean... No, you can't. Because it's like, this dude had some of the best matches on the WrestleMania cards in the last few years and just got overshadowed by shady main events that people weren't happy with. Yeah. But... Like that's Cena what... and Rock. Like, come on, man. That's who, what we wanted. Who wanted to see that? Well, the, the, I, well, I guess I guess a lot of people did because it sold a lot. But it's fuck, man. Where are you, people? Show your faces, please. Where are you? Where do you people? Where do you exist? What part of the country do you live in? I need to know this. Show your faces. I I, I need to know this. This 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 is stuff that I need to know before I die. I need to know where not to move to. to. What was that? You need to know where not to move. Yeah, exactly. I just need <laughs> to know where you people live. So I don't move there. Just please, please inform me. Enlighten me. I'm begging you folks. Whoever's out there that ordered that pay-per-view for Cena and, and Rock, let me know. And let me know where you live. You don't need to give me your address. Just a state. That's all I need to know. And I won't come there. <laughs> Thanks. That'll help me out a lot because, you know, in the next couple of years I'm thinking about moving. So please let me know. There you go. I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid all those people. So you can't avoid stupidity, can, Shaheen. It's everywhere. Yeah, but as much as I can, I I like to. Oh, I know. It's the not feeling. even stupid people. It's just it's just a matter of taste. I don't want to call them stupid. It's just a matter of taste. But your taste doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> so I want to stay away from you. There you go. Don't hold back, Shaheen. Go. Tell them how you feel. Yeah. Did, did we lose like how half talk listeners right now? I, I I don't I don't think so. <laughs> probably probably not the smartest thing to say. <laughs> That's okay. Oh jeez. Anyway, man. By the way, I mean we'll we'll get into raw, but uh, WWE Network, right? When this whole cancellation thing went on and it was trending, they said that the that the web page went down. Right. Do you recall this? I do, sir. Now, this is, this is, you, you see where I'm going, right? Mm hmm. This is fucking ridiculous, man. Uh, people thought that, you know, too many people were canceling. That's not the case. There's no way that's the case. I don't know, man. What do you think? Hey, one nah, million man. subscribers, they, dude. They, dude, they, they took that page down, man. There's, they took that shit down. One million subscribers, dude. Exactly. They did it by, by fucking taking that page down. I don't know, man. Here's 
I, I just think it was very a very strange time to put that article out. And I mean, are, are those like factual numbers, or is that according to WWE? Well, because we're going to get the real numbers in a, in, a, in a couple months, right, or in a month. Uh, this month, February twelfth. Yeah. Which now? Yeah. There's many ways to word that to where it can be played with. We have a, you know, we hit a million subscribers. Doesn't mean, you know, they could do that and still have cancellations and just not tell you how many cancellations they've got. You know, I mean, there's many ways to put that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised that they hit a million. For God's sake, I mean, they, they're in almost 200 countries. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, it's definitely... It's different. not that crazy. But... I'd love to know how many people have unsubscribed. Well, those numbers aren't going to factor into uh, the next round, I guess. Right. Yeah. The, the the what we're the numbers we get on the twelfth are going to be through December thirty first. So they have yeah. a lot of time to come up with uh, some different ways to to word this. Yeah, there's dude. I'm I'm a big believer that they that they were the ones that that took that page down. There's, I mean, they saw it trending. They got afraid. They took it down. It's very simple. Yeah, I I wouldn't doubt it, man. You pr- 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 you protect your business. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it. I mean, it makes sense. I'm not saying they're they're idiots for it. They're actually very smart for it. You know, they they just said, hey, let it cool down. Let us take it down for a couple of hours. People are just gonna think that you know. Too many people, or there's too much traffic, and it's just down. And let it cool down, and and, and we won't lose as many people. And it cool. it's smart. And who's who's gonna tell them no? Let it cool out. Let it cool out. Let it cool out. Chill the fuck out. Chill the, the fuck out. Uh, chill the fuck out button. I know. I'm gonna have to make it. I keep saying I'm gonna have to, and then I forget. There you go. Well, I smoke pot. <laughs> there you go. I should live in Colorado. What can I say? There you go. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't move to Colorado after seeing that crowd, dude. I'd be right there. Hey, that's <laughs> the fucking joint, motherfuckers. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting high without hands. me. Yeah, if you're there, you're gonna be sitting on your hands, man. That was that was a that was a quiet crowd. They were pretty quiet. I mean, they 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 started popping a little bit at the end. They were getting a little louder yeah. by the end, but it was. It was the end, <laughs> so... Yeah. They were just trying to go home. Yeah, probably. Uh, they were popping for the fact that they're going to be exiting that that building pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave soon. We can go smoke more. Yes. Yeah. I get to go home and go to sleep. Yeah. Fucking four hours of raw. Because, you know, we get three hours. They've been sitting there for fucking, I don't know, four, four and a half hours. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of them just stuck around and watched the network on their phone. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> burned out by the by What's the, the Austin show. podcast? Motherfucking podcast. Yeah. So. <sighs> what else you got on Raw? We had uh, Triple H came out and, and Seth Rollins came out and Daniel Bryan came out. Roman Reigns came out. Basically, they all said that they deserve a chance. Yep. To face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, and this was very weird because essentially it just made Royal Rumble look like a throwaway pay per view because it just didn't matter at all. Like it's just it's so. Pointless. Basically, what they've done is they've taken. I said two, but it's now three pay per views in a row where they've taken the, the 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 main event and just basically null and void. It means nothing. Yeah, I know Survivor Series with the whole firing angle. They came right back, so that was just pointless. Okay. Royal Rumble, Reigns winning, that was just completely pointless because mm-hmm. now it apparently just doesn't mean anything. What was the other one that you were referring to? TLC, when the authority left for a month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. three pay-per-views in a row. There you go. So, I guess... I guess uh, None of this shit matters. I guess not, man. They're just uh, they're just trying to get your nine ninety nine at this point. It looks like. Well, they they will get my nine ninety nine because I like the network. Unfortunately, they, they... again, my dog pissed on my router, so I can't watch your network unless I'm watching it on my phone. But uh, <laughs> I nonetheless, I, I enjoy it. 
Oh, every time you say my dog pissed on my router, it makes me laugh. I'm sorry, Sheen. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a dick for that. <laughs> Come on, how many? Why would you do that to me? What? <laughs> how many times are you gonna ever hear anyone say my dog pissed on my router? Yeah, yeah, my dog is weird, man. Two of them are are fine. One of them tends to take a leak here One and there. One of them likes warm electronics. Um, it was probably just warm. Probably. He's like, yeah, oh. Nice and false. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is warm. Yep. He raised his leg, let his sack sit on top of the fucking router. Yep. And he took a nice, nice giant leak. Multiple giant leaks. Mo yeah, multiple times, apparently, yeah. <laughs> so. I know his spot now, and it's uh, hidden, so I didn't I didn't see it where I where I go to mop. It's behind the drawer, like I was saying. There you but, go. Uh, I know your spot now, little man. I know, I know your spot. So in the middle of the night, when I hear him getting up, I know it's not to drink water. I know it's about to go. You know, he's about to go take a piss on the router. Nice. So I'm on to you. I'm on to you. There you go. There you go, Shaheen. Indeed. But uh, so we're gonna get uh. Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins for the main event. Mm -hmm. And whoever wins that match is going to face Roman Reigns at Fastlane, which uh, you can get for nine ninety nine. Fastlane. Yeah. Fastlane. Fastlane. That was nice. Hot Thank tagging you. right there, see? That's it, man. Fast Motherfucking lane, hot tag right there. there. Fastlane. And it's gone. There we go. And it's gone. That was pretty fast. It's gone. That's All fast. Right. That's fast. But, uh, that was fast. What was, what was the first match on the card? Um, well, they announced it just, uh, right in the ring. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Big Show. Oh, yeah. How could I forget this one? Maybe because I've seen it the last four weeks, five how, weeks. How could you forget weeks? it? Because you've been trying to forget it. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Seven, seven, perhaps. Yeah, um, yeah, that was the first, uh, the first match. Of course, Jay and your security is all involved, and it was about what you would figure from the from an, an authority match. Yeah, n nothing really to talk about. Just your basic match: Roman Reigns, Super Punch, the spear that he apparently invented. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. All that. Now, one thing that he forgot to say that he invented that I actually think it's it's worthy of mentioning is his little uh, drop kick that he does on the apron. Now, that's actually worth mentioning. Yeah. But he, little... he failed to do so, and that's actually that's actually a really cool move. I, I really like that one. Huh. Yeah, that would help. That would help. But um, yeah, Big Show defeated Roman Reigns. Um, now this. <laughs> This was kind of my problem. This next little segment. They're tr correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it make Roman look strong? Isn't that what they've been saying for a long time now? Right. Yeah. Okay. But they don't have any logic, so. Right, because they go back into this backstage segment with Triple H and Stephanie, and they're talking about how stupid Roman Reigns is for falling with it for falling for it. We can't even legally do this to him and he doesn't even know it. So you just made your strong baby face look like a fucking idiot. And he, he also made everybody else look like an idiot. So he yeah. said, you know, we just fooled everybody, you know. Well, they've been making Daniel Bryan look like an idiot, so I'm not even surprised by it anymore. But No, they, I, was, I was talking about the fans. I mean, they've been oh, yeah. making us look like idiots forever. So. Well, I expect it now, so I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, what's new? If if you buy the pay per view for like sixty bucks and pay them more money, they make fun of you. So I mean, yeah, you you idiots trying to make us money. Yeah, so apparently they hate money. Apparently they're just not. They just don't fucking think. So I don't know. Something uh, like that. Yeah, and you know Triple H plugs the uh, Steve Austin podcast, saying he's gonna manipulate. I can't speak. He's gonna manipulate. 
<laughs> He's going to manipulate Steve Austin during the podcast tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like Scooby Doo for a second. There you go. Ready? Okay. Um, Curtis Axel comes out. I'm sorry. An angry Curtis Axel comes out. This was actually good, man. I, I liked him coming out pissed off. I, I didn't mind this actually. It wasn't bad. This is, might have been the best thing I've ever seen Kurt Axel, uh, Curtis Axel do. Oh, it def- hands down, it definitely was the best thing. It was it was better than his match with Triple H. I'll say that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I I kind of like this. They need to have him just come out screaming every time. Isn't that kind of sad though? He's like back at NXT. Like <laughs> you just reverse back your career. It's I don't know, man. Usually not good. If it'll give him a jump, let him do it. I guess. I I don't know. I mean, it 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 did some, it it worked out great for Bray. Husky oh, Harris works great for uh, Tyson Kidd right now. So far, He's back it's on the wall because of that. Yeah, so far it's working out for Tyson too. So fuck it, man. What you gonna do? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this yeah it was weird. Mm-hmm. Made Roman look like a moron. Yep. Then um. Axel's out there, and who comes out? Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, comes out, and uh, they uh, he beats the hell out of Curtis Axel, takes the mic, and starts. Uh, and he said, <laughs> "Now Axel's eliminated." <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I like that. So yeah. now we can get the controversy out of the way. There you go. Uh, Ambrose claims. He Honestly, you know what would have been funny. If Triple H just trolled everybody, and that was the big controversy, was was a uh, fucking Curtis Axel. That would have been funny, but they that would have been anything. amazing. That they would have been good. They wouldn't do something like that. It would be entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Just cancel that out. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even put that in your little head. So. Yeah, we get that. Axel actually comes back in and beats you and tries to attack. Uh, Tries to attack Ambrose again. Ambrose throws him, gives him a nice little dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Dunder cheap. Dirty deeds. Dunder cheap. And uh, then Black History Month, and we get Ernie Ladd as the first one. Now, didn't they play this last year? Yes, they did, and I think it was the first one last year also, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I do appreciate them uh, counting counting the Rock as as a black male now. So that's that's always good. Well, yeah. Um, okay. And by the way, I saw people were were asking the question on Twitter: Is is Roman Reigns going to be the first black black uh, champion? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, yeah. Um... Again, please, folks. The ones that, uh, that that question stuff like that. Where do you live? <laughs> Let me know. I I need to know. Uh, I don't want to be your neighbor. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. So, so. Well, you probably don't want to live next to me anyway. No, probably not. There you go. <laughs> no, probably not. No. There you no. go. Um. Then we get. The Ascension versus the Dust Brothers. You know what would be hilarious before we talk about that? Tell me. I was just imagining this random, random thought. Duh, now, okay. what if, what if, what if when I move, my next door neighbor is a huge wrestling fan, right? Mm-hmm. Now imagine this. And the whole family is is like consists of like like a soccer mom, like a mom against WWE type of mom, mm-hmm. and the guy is like a super cornball. And their kids are just like dressed, you know, head to toe in, in Cena gear. Oh, I would. That love would be it. a nightmare for me. Oh, I would, I would probably, love that. I'd probably kick that kid every day. Oh, I would tell you to carry a recorder with you everywhere you went. Well, I tell you one thing that that would be happening every day. My dogs would be definitely taking a shit on their lawn. Yeah, you could give them a new router to piss on. There you go. I would put my old router on their lawn. Put your router on the lawn. 
follow this. Down. Follow your smell, doggy. Follow your smell. <laughs> yep. Take a shit right here. That's yeah. my man. But yeah, by the way, happy uh, happy Black uh, History Month, everybody. That's good stuff. That's uh, I mean, it is. Uh, this is a this is a time where I honestly think WWE is being as disrespectful as they can possibly mm-hmm. with with like all the all the black wrestlers on, on the roster, which is kind of which is really sad. I mean, we live in a fucking world where you know Obama's the president and these guys are fucking coming out here as the new day and our truth and. Which are truth, man. I mean, that's got to go, man. That, they have to stop that. Oh, come on. What's oh, up? Dude, come on, man. You come on, man. They have to stop that shit. What's up? That, nothing's up, man. He what's hasn't up? figured out what's up in the last fucking five years. Well, he's still trying to figure it out, man. He's trying to find himself. That will stop figuring it out, man. <laughs> you can't figure out what's up, apparently. <laughs> I'm being devil's advocate. You know? I'm being devil's advocate. That, I'm joking. I know, I know. That, that, I mean, it's so fucking stereotypical, man. That that gimmick is, and you know them just replacing him as Devon. Like, oh, jeez. That that was funny. I mean, it was funny, but it's like you can't afford Devon because I know Devon didn't turn it down. There's no way. They probably just didn't reach out. I don't know. You'll never know. Unless you, uh, unless you happen to start working for him. Yeah. Well, with this podcast, that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty, pretty sure I just, yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah. If they ever hear any, even one of these, I doubt it. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Where were we? Ascension Dust Brothers. Um, this is where the commentating got very annoying for me. Man, the commentary was annoying the whole fucking night. They... It was bad all night, but this is where it got real bad. Your heel announcer, who is supposed to be putting these guys over, your heel announcer, I said, who is supposed to be liking these guys and putting them over, is trashing them. Your babyface announcer, Booker T, is defending them. Yeah, they can't figure it out. What in the fucking bizarro world is happening here? Is JBL a heel <laughs> announcer or a, or a babyface? He, 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 he sings with our truth when he comes out, yet he praises the authority for doing, doing heel moves. And he also sings with fucking the Usos when they come out. Yeah, I am very, very confused. Um, no, you're not the only one, believe me. You are definitely not the only one. Wow. Uh, yeah, Man. this was a weird It blows one. your mind, doesn't it? Just, it, just it really does. It blows your mind. I mean, a little consistency would be just fine. I, yeah. I really could. So, I don't know. We'll, um, well, you, you're not going to get that. You're definitely not going to get consistency unless it's no, you know, constant shit. I'm not. Um, the Ascension actually ended up beating the dust, the the Stardust and Gold Dust. Uh, they were arguing in the ring. Uh, they go to a backstage segment, and Gold Dust says, you know, starts trying to call him, you know, hey, stop, stop, and finally says Cody, and Cody says, don't ever call me Cody again. Uh oh. And he cat hissed at him. Do you think this is going to be a WrestleMania match, or is it, is yeah. it not yeah. worthy of being I, on, the, on the card? I think, I think you're getting a Mania match out of this, finally. They, they've they been pushing for this for, what, f- four years now? Three years? Yeah, probably as long as uh, Sin Cara against Rey Mysterio. There you go. So, I don't know. That, that should have happened, man. They, they could have made that happen. I thought the match happened on, like, a Raw or something. I don't know. Do you honestly expect me to remember that? I don't know how I do. Anyway. I don't know either. I don't remember. But uh, And then, of course, your man comes to the ring. John Cena. (laughs) John Cena's coming down to the ring. I actually got a good pop from the crowd. I hate to say. I thought he got a boo. He got booed, dude. Dude, they, dude, this crowd booed fucking Daniel Bryan last night in that first segment. 
Did you not? They were high. Exactly. This crowd was just way too stoned to understand what was going on. <laughs> this crowd, oh, dude, who's, who's that guy with the beard, man? His beard is fucking way too long. Boo him, dude. Boo him. Boo oh, the dude. beard. Dude, do you think he has some rolling papers? Oh, he's, he looks creepy. Aren't we supposed to boo the guy with the beard? They both start with B, right? Boo. Yeah, beer. I, I think. Yeah. Hey, someone get me a beer. That's another B. Hey, hey man, what's what's that guy's name over there? You got any bud? There's another B. I love the bees, man. Uh, it's fucking great. Plus, I, I like bud. <laughs> you, you get it? A bud. It can be Budweiser or like Bud Bud. It's fucking awesome. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude. I'm like fucking totally like my mind is blown. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I just had, like, a total mind fuck. Oh, if we didn't lose listeners on that one, I'm happy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Uh... Oh, man. We're, we're going to get kicked off of iTunes for that one. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck these guys. You know, We've had not... enough. We'll he's fuck yeah, this. Uh, the, That's the, enough. They're, they're as high as they're acting. <laughs> they're like... That's not, we've had enough of these guys. That's it. Oh, get shit. them off of here. Yeah, um, what happened when John Cena came out? He cut a fucking promo, uh, and then he brought out... Oh, um, really? Yeah. Really? Well, he was there to Holy thank... Shit. He was there to welcome back uh, Ziggler, uh, um, um, Rowan, and Ryback. And, of course... Is that like the, a new faction? I mean, why do they keep putting them together? I don't know. I don't know, but it's, you know it, that was like two months ago, dude. It's, it's done. Yeah, 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 and you know it was what I don't know. Stephanie comes it up. It started at like it, it pretty much started at Survivor Series when they started pretty much uh, forming a faction. That was like two months ago. But it's not really a faction because they don't have matches together. They don't. They just like it, when it, and it's a weird one. It's it's a I don't know. Like, Rowan in the middle is just, it's very awkward to me. Rowan has the worst music I've ever oh, heard. Oh, jeez, he's terrible. He comes down to the ring, I'm expecting, like, the debut of fucking Kenta. Yeah, I thought the great mood was coming. I, it's, it's it's like, oh my, uh, who's coming down? Or some geisha girl's coming down to start dancing. Yeah. That's Maybe right. Hakushi? <gasps> Hakushi! Maybe we can see the debut and and, and the return of uh, Hayabusa to wrestling. There you go. There oh, you man, go. Hayabusa was fucking awesome. Like Yoshitatsu's coming back or something? I don't know. All I know is his music does not match his character at all. Yeah, I, I prefer to talk about Hayabusa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care about Rowan. I'm totally sorry. And I, I used to like Rowan, man. But, I mean, I don't know. Dude, I like him in the Wyatt. I, I can't watch him as a solo act. He'll make you some wine. He's he's a vintner, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I pass on that. I don't want that guy squashing grapes for me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not much of a wine guy anyway. No, I'm not either. It's supposed to be really healthy for you though. So. Ah, fuck. Beer's healthy for me. <laughs> I, I guess. It is. It's it, it's got it's got uh, it's got protein I think um, carbs carbs are good for you aren't they um, calories uh, probably not a, probably not in the form of fucking beer calories calories are good for you um, oh yeah oh hops, yeah hops and well, barley all that good shit man all that good shit dude it's got hops it'll, and it'll barley you... and shit yeah it'll make you fat oh. then you can have a Snickers bar right after it get diabetes. Well, I just get the whole package going, man. You can spill it and hope your computer doesn't fry out while you did it. And then you can go and wrestle after that, and and do a blade job, and and get in the ring with Abdul the Butcher. Then you can have a uh, fucking hepatitis C as well. Damn it! I really did just spill this beer. See, that's what happens, man. Right? All right, you're gonna have to talk for about a half a second while I grab paper towel. I'll be right back. Yeah, well, fucking yeah, catch it all, man. Catch it all while you're up there. Go in there in the rusty ass ring and do an audio blade job with one of the greats, Abdul the goddamn Butcher. I want to see Abdul the Butcher come back, man. 
I want to see that guy wrestle at age 89. I mean, he might as well. He was wrestling up to as much. I, shit, for all I know, he's, he's probably still wrestling. He's got to be. Yeah, he's got to be in his seventies now. But Who, yeah, you talking happy, about uh, still? Happy... What? Who are you talking about? What? Who are you talking about? What? Who are you talking about? What? <laughs> all right. Enough. Wait. Wait. What? 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 Well, I'm what? confused, man. You fucked me up, man. I said, "Who are you talking about?" Wait. What? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was talking about Bill the Butcher. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Bill the Butcher, man. I wanna, I wanna see him buy his uh, Hall of Fame ring back. That was a really shitty thing to do. He he pawned it or something, right? Bag. How does somebody? It's like I don't know, man. That, that, he's got to be the only person to do that. What did he pawn it or hawk it or sell it or what? Yeah, he sold it. He fucking sold his Hall of Fame ring. Didn't, um... Somebody hawked it. I think, like, Billy Graham or someone said they hawked it. I forgot who it was. It's weird. That's gotta be illegal, though, right? No. How... No, it's yours. Yeah, but I mean, there's gotta be some, some kind of, like, agreement... That call because I mean they didn't buy it. It's like it's like a gift given to you, dude. People have sold their Super Bowl rings. I've seen them on Pawn Stars. Yeah, but that's like that's like there's multiple fucking Super Bowl rings. Well, there's multiple Hall of Fame. Yeah, rings. but only one. True, but I mean on <laughs> on a team there's there's multiple rings. Oh, wrestling well. doesn't have teams. It's just one guy. Well. I know. It's not like but... there's fucking 12 or 15 Abdul the Butcher, you know, Hall of Fame rings. No, and I, I, don't, I don't know if they're, if they have, I don't even know, if they, they might be engraved on the back. I don't know if they have name. I don't know what, they, I don't know. I've never looked at what they say, but. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's some kind of symbol or something that, you know, has a connection uh, to the to the Hall of Fame inductee. I don't know. That'd be cool if they had some kind of like little plates on the side, kind of they have with the with the belts, mm -hmm. and uh, have like little mini logos. Like for Abdul, I'd have like the four. Yeah, something Let's see else. Here. That'd be cool. No, it just says they can they, they can they can customize the Coco Beware one, man, with uh with the bird. There you go. And you know what? If you, if you type in WWE Hall of Fame ring, go to images, the second row down. There's Abby holding up his ring on his pinky. There you go. There you go. I wonder who owns it Probably now. Probably not there anymore. But it doesn't say names. It just says World Wrestling Entertainment, Hall of Fame in the middle. It could be engraved on the inside, but um, I don't know. It yeah, that's probably like what it. it is. Probably has the initials on the inside. It could. Okay. It definitely could, but I'm, I'm just taking a look at it. It's a nice ring. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, Gold. I'm trying to buy one. WWE, let me get one. Come on, they, dude. Oh, they probably sell them. You know what? For shit's sake. Let me uh, let me just get one. Right. We deserve it, man. We've we've given a lot of good ideas, and <laughs> it usually follows by "You're welcome, WWE." So. <laughs> I wonder if you can. I wonder if there's one on eBay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna find out. I'm going. I'm on, I'm on eBay right now. Let's see. See who's selling their Hall of Fame ring. Uh, you can get a collectible Hall of Fame ring for one hundred and sixty dollars. Well, that's like a replica, right? Uh, that is all I see. There, oop, oop, autograph, sunny picture, eight by ten. Uh huh, fourteen ninety nine. Oh, -hoo. Oh, -hoo. oh yeah, pay fourteen ninety nine. You can see your fucking. You can see that panel for asshole as well. After there you go. Autographs it for you. She'll sign it with the pen in her asshole. There's another one, Sunny Autographs. There you go. There you go. There's like five or six Sunny ones. Okay. Someone has a 2015 Hall of Fame ticket. What? Now why would you want to buy that? I don't know. Anyway, here's the here's the ring. It's uh, it's not bad. It's just a ring with WWE on it, pretty much. It's just a. 
It's nothing fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, but uh, let's let's finish up raw because I have something that I want to talk about that's that's really interesting and All right. kind of off the wall slash crazy. All right, we will. Let's see. We were at uh, we were talking about Steph making matches for all three of these guys. First match is Luke Harper versus Ryback. This was a, I I mean a lot of people kind of said this match sucked from what I read on Twitter, but I actually really like this. I, I thought know. it was a uh, I mean I don't like Luke Harper laying down for for Ryback for say, but I thought I thought it did its job. I mean, I'd really like to see Luke Harper get a push and get more wins, but um, apparently that's not happening, so, meh. Meh. Whatever, right? I like them in the ring against each other, though. I think, I think you know, them on, on opposing sides looks good. It's a good visual. I'm still, a, I'm still behind right back. I, I still think he's going to be pretty good, pr- pretty damn big, pretty... uh. He's going to make it. I don't know. I, I I like the guy. Yeah, I like him too. So, I got to get another beer. You remind me of the warrior a lot. Got to get another beer because I spilled my other one. You're a dick. Oh, dude. Fucking alcohol abuse. It's all over the floor. Oh, man. We should just be happy. Clean lady's going gonna to be pissed. We need to be happy the fucking computer didn't get wet and shut down. I spilled it right on. It's all over the fucking tower. So, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, you see how professional we are. That's right. Ah, that's how professional, how professional we are. are. Cracking open another brewski. There you go. We're winning the podcast of the year. <laughs> yeah. Spilling beer all over the fucking place. Look, man, I didn't mean to do it, all right? Bashing everything that pretty much happens on uh, wrestling. I didn't mean to do it. We're not, not our fault. We don't bash everything. Well, we we bash like ninety one percent. Well, it should we we didn't bash Lucha Underground. We didn't bash Lucha Underground. We didn't bash the we didn't uh, bash the Boogeyman. We didn't bash the Boogeyman. We haven't bashed much we didn't on bash. Raw yet. We haven't trashed much on Raw yet. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't actually didn't bash the Austin podcast. That was good. That was that, that was decent. I mean, you know, we said it was not as entertaining as Vince, but I, you know, that's 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 a legit thing to say. I think. I mean, Vince is a yeah. Vince is an attraction. You know, he doesn't do many of these, so it was kind of a a good thing. So. And we, uh, I actually just put over the. the previous match, Luke Harper and Ryback. So there you go. We're, which, being, uh, uh, we're being overly positive. This this needs to stop now. Yeah, which Ryback ended yeah. up winning. So that was good. So What was the next match? Next match, Jimmy Ooh So Crazy versus Cesaro. Fuck, I have to put this over too because I thought this match was going to suck and it was actually really good. This match was good. It went a little long. Yeah, um, I was surprised because I I'm not a big fan of like tag teams doing solo matches. Yeah, doing singles. Um, this was this was pretty good. And usually, any any match with Cesaro being the common denominator of, of most good matches on on the television. Right. Is is usually good. Yeah. Yeah. I. Like this, I thought it was like I just said it went a little bit too long, but I I liked it. It was good. I liked how Tyson Kid got in, involved right there. Just kind of ran in, did oh, yeah. a quick quick little yeah, sit down. Yeah, that kick at the end was nice. That was, that was perfect. Um, oh, yeah. I liked it. I did as well. Damn, we like everything on Raw, man. We're watching fucking Internet Marks. Actually, Ugh. we're the opposite of Internet Marks. I guess we're like WWE apologists right now. F- uh. Don't worry. There's we're <laughs> we're uh we're, we're we like we like we like the moms against WWE campaign going on. There we go, man. We're liking all. Yeah, we're liking we're liking all the corny shit, man. What's next, Tina? No, no, no. Um, Thanks. All right, good, good, actually, good, good. In a minute, good, good. back in catering, Miz and Miz Dow were back there. Uh, guy walks up. Asks for Miz's autograph and kind of Miz blows him off, and the guy's like, "Oh, that's all right. I met Miz Dow." 
and which yeah. caused a whole bunch of bullshit. He fired Mizdow and made him his assistant. Oh my god. Yeah, Mizdow, man, that guy is not getting a push to. Sorry to, you know. Burst he deserves the it after 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 this gimmick. After proving he can You're... be this over with such a ridiculous gimmick, he deserves a push. Well, the only thing I'm worried about is that he's growing man boobs. All right, you're looking at, like, something way different than I'm looking at. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I mean, I'm just saying he's growing man boobs, man. I mean, you know Vince, you, you need the fucking six-pack going on and all that shit. This guy's not getting a push. I'm not even... I, I, I have not looked at... <laughs> There you go. Body's right. If I had a if I had a global force wrestling koozie, this beer never would have spilled. <laughs> that, God damn it. God damn body, body that's, you're that's, right. That's a good one. That's He's a good right. one. I can't deny Bro, it. Jeff Jarrett, hire this guy for your campaign, man. Let him advertise for you. There you go. Jeff Jarrett, find this guy. We don't know who the hell he is, but maybe you'll find him. Um Jeff Jarrett, go to Facebook.com slash group slash <laughs> podcast. podcast. Log into the chat room, find this guy, track him down, <laughs> and hire him. He's your new marketing guy, there you go. sir. There you go. I just put over our uh, Facebook Facebook uh, page and and body stuff. So that's good. And the chat room. There you good. go. There and you and go. the chat room. I killed uh, three birds with one stone. There you go. Um, is so that is that a record? They I usually think, kill two birds with a stone. I think so. I think so. We'll see. Barry Hall with a pat on the back. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. Um, I won't. He, now, he after, never hurt himself. There you go. Now, after this little Miz and Miz Dow segment we get, we do get John Cena sitting in the locker room. Eric Rowan comes in. Thanks, Cena. Mm, thank you, Cena. And blah, blah. Take, take, take it easy on Rusev and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's it. They go there, and that was a quick little thing. Then we get a match. Ziggler, Wyatt. Awesome. Yes. Damn, I'm putting everything over tonight. I thought I was being negative. Dude, there were good Jeez. matches. The other shit wasn't that great. No, we actually we actually got a decent amount of matches. We I'm did. Surprised. We did. We did. And this was a really good match. This might have gone a little bit long too, but it was still a great match between these two. I'm a little Bray Wyatt out, but <laughs> Bray Wyatt out. I'm like a little that. Bray Wyatt out. I don't know. He's just he he's not growing on me. He's 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 doing the opposite. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not digging it right now. So well, it's because they haven't done anything new with him. He's not doing anything. It's just the same. It's the same shit. Yeah, exactly. If he was doing something new, it'd be interesting. Like he has so much potential. Like that guy could be gold. He he's he's a diamond in the rough. You know. They just need to polish him up, man. And all they've done is pretty much just let him sit on the table and just catch more dust. But polish this guy up, and then you got a diamond, man. You're you're sitting on fucking on on on, on royalty, and you just don't know it. This guy, he's, he's good, man. He's he's really really good. And I think he's actually really good in the ring. A lot of people say he's not, but look at his matches with Brian. Look at his matches with Ziggler. I'm not saying they're carrying him, and maybe I'm, I'm sure they're. They're helping him with the efforts, but I'm sure he's, he's he's doing his own part. He's he's pretty good. I mean, he can hold his own. I mean, it's not. I mean, yeah. no one's saying he's horrible, but I don't know. It it, it, it I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of over it right now. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you why you're over it because he was losing to Cena for a couple months, and they had a bunch of kids following him around doing a bunch of corny shit. So, and then they broke the wires up right after that. So, that, I mean, yeah. 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 It's like, it's like yeah. a chain. It's, it's it's a chain reaction of uh, bad honestly, things happening to him at the same time. And I I, I honestly don't like his promos anymore. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's doing the same shit. I know. I didn't like the promo he did. We're, we'll we'll get to it in a minute or two here. Um. Anyway, Bray ended up beating Ziggler, which whatever. Did it, it? It didn't really matter to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got a quick recap of the big announcement, air quotes, and then Paige versus Alicia Fox. Um, this is the one, well, actually, 
please go ahead and just play <laughs> all right. that sound. All right, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm, I'm waiting for it. No, you're good. No, you're I, good. I need it before I even go. I need it. This what? goddamn match. What about it? I'm waiting for the crickets. I already, I already played them. Oh, I didn't hear it. Oh. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, All right. this fucking match, man, this was probably the most brutal part of the night. And that was simply due to the fact that the fucking Bella Twins were on commentary. Mm. And this should never happen. I mean, this was... God, man. I mean, this wanted... I just wanted to fucking break my television set. Like, this fucking infuriated me. I hated every second of it. Please, please never make this happen again. If you do, I'm watching it on mute. I'm not going to go and hashtag cancel W. No. But I'm going to watch it on mute because they fucking suck. They're terrible. Especially yeah. at commentary, dude. Why are you doing this to us? Like, they honestly, they must hate us. I don't know, man. I, 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 this is torture. Did you listen to how bad it was, or was it just me? Is it, is it just oh no, me? It was bad, and I think it was bad because Nikki wasn't showing enough cleavage. Do more of that and less talking. <laughs> I really think if Nikki had more boobage going, it, it might have been better. I don't know why. I just think it would have been. Probably. I mean, <laughs> I know why. Probably crazy, but I, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're garbage, man. They're it's, it's absolute garbage. It's all about the boobage, man. So, all yeah, right, we can go the, ahead and... The uh... fucking match ended. They came out with the spray paint. They sprayed Paige because she's too white. Dude, they I... spray painted her black. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. okay, what month is this? Yeah, that is kind of... Well, I mean, that's kind of reaching. I wouldn't go that far, but... Oh, it was a joke anyway. Calm yourself down, sir. No, but I mean, you know, people like they come up with you know conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I know. I was just joking. So why don't yeah. we get to the next the next match, the Miz? Oh, hold on one second. Oh, 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 now oh. this 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 match. What is this feud over? What what am I missing? Is it Which just feud? because she doesn't tan? They just beat her up. Um, they're in this whole. How can you be the anti diva when you're doing the same things we are and putting on makeup and this and that? Basically, that's what this feud is over. Basically, this feud is over. Um, um, the, the, the total divas related. Kind, I don't know, because they're kind of all friends on Total Divas. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched it. So it wasn't on last week, so. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. They they were they weren't. Going I wouldn't against, know. They weren't going against the Super Bowl. I don't blame them. Yeah, they weren't going against. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we're supposed to call it the big game. Oh yeah. I don't the think you're allowed to game. call it the. Uh... LBW, you don't shut us down. We're sorry. Yeah, I, I don't think you're allowed the, to call it the the, uh, game. the SB. The SB. Well, word. What, what would you rather see? Would you let's let's ask. The WWE Universe a question. What would you rather see WWE Universe? Would you rather see the WWE Superstars or would you rather see it, the big game? That's what I thought. I'll take the big game. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my bet. Actually, I'm lying. I didn't watch one. I didn't watch second one of that football game. So that's crazy. I, I don't watch football much, but mm -hmm. I, I have to watch that. That was actually a really good game. I was at a restaurant and saw a little bit of it, and uh, yeah, it was really good. Good. Well, I mean, it's idiotic at, at the end. Just that was a bad call. They should have had Lynch going, but yeah, that's a whole, yeah, whole different I, story. I, I never watch football though, so it's fine. It's it. I got. I don't care. I don't. I don't really either. I don't. I don't care either way. But. No, football is. Um, I'm not going to say anything. We'll end up losing a lot of listeners. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do. It, well. it, it, it. You know what? It's just not my thing. It's just not me. And I mean, it, people love it, and I'm. I, I got no problem with that. It's just not my thing. I just don't like it. I'm not a big uh, sports guy. So what can I do? Yeah. I hear you, man. Yeah. Well, let's let's. Let's continue with Raw. Okay. So we can finish this crap. 
The Miz versus Sin Cara. Yeah. And uh, this, I mean, this was entertaining with the whole Miz Dow thing and him, you know, not being the, the, the fucking stunt double now. He's a sidekick and he's, yeah, it, I mean, it is what it is. It is. It is. And uh, Sid Cara ends up beating the Miz. And uh, Miz gets man, pissed. Sin, Sin Cara is on a is on a streak. He's on a streak, man. He's kicking ass. And then he, uh, he is. Yeah. Wade Barrett, Miz, jeez. There you go. No, doesn't he get a title shot since he beat Wade Barrett? I guess. I I want Sin Cara to be my IC champion. Okay. That's complete sarcasm but make it happen well I mean fuck man give that guy every belt on, on the in the, there you in go. the company fucking Lance Storm his ass yeah man belt don't mean shit anyway so give him give, give him everything just give it to give him give it to Fakes and Cara <laughs> uh oh see there you already go. people in the chat room cancel subscription to hot tag podcast hashtag hashtag cancel subscription to hot tag podcast <laughs> God damn, it's a long fucking what? hashtag. Will that even fit in Twitter? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You probably shouldn't have announced that. <laughs> God that, should have been a, that should have been a hidden secret in the, in the chat room only. That was, that was an exclusive. Just so you know, there is no subscription, really, so who cares? <laughs> All right. Well, there is, actually. You subscribe on iTunes and YouTube and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to read that. God damn, that's a long hashtag. <laughs> that is a long hashtag. I'd get through a quarter of it and be like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and by the way, half, half of the Divas match, the commentary, they were talking about how long of a hashtag you can make. Yeah. That was very, very good commentary. Yeah, yeah. For, dude, it's it's the Divas. Forget about it. They don't matter. Cole has stood up before. Um, I think it's like 142 characters that you can do. Oh, God. I'm not sure. Oh. Like, God, fuck off, two. dude. I don't want to watch. Why are, we, why are you doing this to me? She should only open her mouth for one reason. Anyway. Um, John Cena. <laughs> just a cock. Anyone. I don't care. Anyone. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Cock old Cena, man. <laughs> We're not getting into that Jesus again, are we? Christ. You think he uh, probably does that, man. Who knows? He probably is a cuckold. He oh, probably dude, is. No he probably, way. Is, a, Vince, he probably no. gets tied up in the in the corner of the room. No, Vince would never push him if he knew about that shit. Vince would never push him. I'm telling you. He wouldn't. No, he Weakness. Wouldn't. You're a weak him. man. Oh, he's weak. not a man's man. He's yeah, not a man's man. Coward. He's a weak man. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with him though. He should get fired if that's the case. I see you heard. So he that, should get shit. He should get fired. Period. Ugh, ain't ever gonna happen. So, um, this is where Bray comes out as Miz is yelling at Miz. Dow. They quickly cut to the back. Lights go off. Cut to the back, and Bray is cutting a strange promo. Um, <clears throat> take her. <clears throat> I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is very obvious. I mean, he's saying, clearly he was talking to somebody, well, and I ooh, think, somebody. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I, I, he was I, saying, you know, you've you've lost your your fucking strength, and you're not the same. And basically, I'm the new you. I'm the I'm the new face of fear, and etc. Right. Basically, saying that he's challenging Taker, and I'm I'm completely cool with this, man. I like this. Bray and Taker, I need to see this before you retire, so make it happen. I'm cool. Yeah, I got no problem with this. He'll, he'll, he'll it'll, it'll be good. He'll, um, now I think they, I think this is, this is, this is under, this is underrated, man. Imagine them in the ring. That's going to look, that's going to be, that's, that, that looks cool. Yeah. And the, and the promo should be cool, but I think they're leaving it vague because they might not, they still might not be 100% on Taker, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. No big deal, but um, I, I I I I didn't care for this promo. But again, I actually I'm, liked it. I thought this was good, man. Again, oh oh oh, God damn! They're putting some long hashtags in here. Uh, our chat room's going. Jesus, 
chat room's going hashtag crazy, bro. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, bro, bro. man. Bro. Oh, fuck, dude. Man, we got to hashtag everything, dude. Everything, bro. All right. Um, That's going to be the next show. We're just going to speak in hashtags. Oh, no. We're not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll call hashtag in sick. next week. We'll be speaking in hashtag hashtags. Hashtag I'm calling in sick that week. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, and YouTube. Hashtag. THQ Wrestling Podcast. Hashtag search that. Oh. Hashtag right now. Oh, dude, I'm about hashtag. to throw up. <laughs> I'm, I'm so hashtag sorry. bitch. I'm seriously. Hashtag I'm about to puke. All right. Um, All right, man. Hey, man. Uh, Gucci oh. man back on me, bitch, man. All right, man. We put a hashtag at the upper hill, man. Gucci man and shit, man. We ain't talking about bullshit, man. You better go on THCITag.com. Matter of fact, it is now the website. No, no, sir, you actually got the website. I heard you. People, it's thtpodcast.com. All right, whatever it is, man. thtpodcast.com. Gucci man over here, we eating some ice cream and shit. I got some ice cream on my face. I actually, I always got ice cream on my face because I have motherfucking tattooed on me. I got a tattoo on my fucking face. If you don't believe me, Google that shit right now. Gucci man, face tattoos, ice cream, hashtag that shit. I'm going to let him be back in here because I don't know the shit about wrestling, man. I don't watch no wrestling. I just get raped in jail. Yeah, um, I heard your ass got thank hashtagged. Thank you, Gucci man, for busting in my house once again and taking over my goddamn. This time you took took them all, all, all my phone, man. This is this is disrespectful. God damn, Gucci man's ass got hashtagged. Jeez. That's all I gotta say. You son of a bitch. That motherfucker. Ah, oh, where were we? Anyway. I don't know. Before I was rudely interrupted by rudely. this fucking guy. I mean, guy. he just came and took that shit over. So, all right, let's 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 get back on the on the track here. Uh, Rusev versus Eric Rowan. Yeah, Rusev is awesome, and I don't care what people say. Oh, uh, he's, he's definitely great. getting better and better. Oh yeah, he's great, man. Damn, man, I have actually put over everything that happened on this Raw so far. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, you have. I mean, this wasn't a this wasn't a great match or anything, but I'm putting over Rusev nonetheless. That's this is surprising. This is actually I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Maybe maybe if I'm if I'm uh, if I'm liking Raw too much, maybe uh, you'll be all right. Know. You'll be all right, man. Trust you. Trust me. I don't think I will be. I don't, maybe it's because we didn't get a John Cena match. Mm-hmm. Say that mm-hmm. much. Say that much quieter. Why was there a John Cena match? No, but don't say it so loud. Oh, I thought I was forgetting about it. I don't think there. Holy shit! Let's, was there a goddamn John? I don't know. Let's get. Let's. Let's. I don't think there was. I don't know. I yeah. thought it was. Don't don't let them hear that. So, yeah. do you think the flag not coming down was a botch or purposely they did it? Um. I don't know. I didn't really. I don't really remember it. They went to pull the push, drop the flag, and it didn't come down. I think it was a botch, and I think he handled it. Both of them. If it was a botch, they did very well at handling it. And and honestly, man, you know, with KFA being dead, and even Triple A said it, um, I salute Rusev for this because I I'm pretty sure it was Sam Roberts. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was Sam Roberts. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple weeks ago. I guess he was actually at the Royal Rumble. I didn't know yes, that. Yes, he was. Um, I, I know where you're going. Yeah, he was at the Royal Rumble. Peter Rosenberg, he was at the Royal Rumble. A bunch of different people. Um, actually, the one guy, uh, you know Angry Grandpa? Yep. Yeah, they were at the Royal Rumble. Um, but Sam Roberts, on his, on his podcast, he mentioned that he stopped at a pit stop, and, and he was getting some coffee at the start. I guess it was Starbucks. I think yeah, that's what he said. you're right, you're anyway. right. Yeah, um, he made a stop, and, and, and I guess Rusev and Lana were there, and Lana was still dressed in her in her uh, blue outfit and everything, and they kept kayfabe. Nobody approached them because they looked pissed off. And, you know, I, I appreciate little things like that. You know, I know the dude is tired. It was probably... Oh. The hell? I have lost Shaheen. Uh, folks, give us just a second and we will be coming right back. I do not know where Shaheen went, so give me one second. Back. 
on the air. All right, and we're back now. Don't know what happened there, but we got Shaheen back again. We are back. I am back. We are all back. I went and took my piss. I'm happy. But, yeah, as I was saying, I appreciate little things like that that, that Rusev does. He, he sells his gimmick, mm-hmm. keeping kayfabe, whatever is left of kayfabe alive. And I appreciate that, man. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he saw him in that little rest there. They were just totally in character. And he said people were standing right beside him like, ooh, don't want to mess with him. That's big Rusev. And, but no one went up to him and was like, oh, you're awesome. Hi. You know, they, they right. stayed away from him. That's, that's, that's some dedication you don't see anymore. That's like fucking Sandman not leaving his house for a month kind of shit, you know? Yeah, that was awesome, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. But yeah, that's 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 what I want to see in heels, man. I want to see the fans being, you know, legitimately intimidated by the guy, not fucking, you know, approach Bray Wyatt on the street and take a selfie with him. I, I don't want to see you tweeting selfies with Bray Wyatt. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to see that. No, I agree. I agree. You want to keep a, I mean, keep something alive, some sort of, I don't know, just something. Yeah, like the boogeyman. I don't. I don't want to see selfies with the boogeyman. Come on. Nah. Nah. Who wants to see that shite? Shite. Shite. So. All right. So here we were. Oh yeah. Like I was saying, if it, it, um, oh yeah, it, it, if that flag was a botch, I thought they handled it well. They were yelling and screaming in the middle of the ring. Rusev ran out and grabbed his. You know, flag pole and started running his flag around. So, if it was a botch, you know, a, m- even more kudos to them for the way they handled it uh, on live TV. Yeah, push Rusev, man. This guy's great. Yeah, he's great. I don't, I don't see him. I don't see him being like the the top top heel yet. But uh, I it's... definitely see a bright future for this guy. Man. This guy definitely has potential. It's coming. I'm not... it's... I'm speaking like I'm some kind of fucking, like, like I'm Michael Hayden or something, yeah. Listen. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. We have microphones. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I have. I just have a phone. It, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, but, but we're on iTunes and Stitcher, so what we say is fact. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. Exactly. It's true. So, let's see here. Um... Hmm. What next? By the way, uh, go, 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 folks. Please, please stop messaging me with with the weird stuff. <laughs> this, this, this shit has to stop. Okay, <laughs> this this shit has to stop now. All right. I'm not gonna spit names out there, but this this box man knows this, this the, shit has to stop. It's awesome. Keep doing it. <laughs> no. This shit has to stop. Don't message me, you know, hey, sweetie. I'm not your fucking sweetie. You know, this shit has to stop. What if she's really hot? It was a fucking dude. (laughs) Okay. Only really hot women are allowed to call Shaheen sweetie from now on, except for me. Right, sweetie? Yeah. No. (laughs) The the hot... The hot tag only approves of, of, of hot women calling calling me sweetie. Don't fucking message me, hey, sweetie. Bro. Bro. Stop it. It's dude, definitely. dude, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Yeah. So if, if, if you want to approach me like that, approach me at, at, at House of Hardcore, and you'll never approach me like that again. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that shit, man. That oh. shit is not cool. Nothing against nothing against gay people, but don't don't come on to me like that. <laughs> you know, uh, it was funny, but um... and that that wasn't the only one. We've got several weird ones where well, uh, I can barely make out what the person is trying to say. All like, all that stuff, dude. If I I can't fucking understand you, just don't waste either of our time. You've got them. I don't have any weirdos chasing me. Well, the ones that I showed you, that shit needs to stop. I mean, my kids chase me around. They're pretty weird, but... 
Yeah, <laughs> I, don't have I, get, I get, I get, I get some pretty fucking weird ones, man. Yeah, I don't have a, I, I don't have any stalkers yet, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should feel good. You should feel good about that. I don't. <laughs> so please don't? make it stop, folks. Please stop this shit now. All right. I guess she All right. wants it. To I have stop. no problem. I have no problem communicating with wrestling fans. As a matter of fact, I, I love it. You know that that the weird shit. Not down with it, man. Stop it. I don't I don't wanna fucking I don't wanna fucking Skype you and I don't wanna do any of that shit. I don't wanna talk about raw after raw with you. I don't I I'm not into that. You know, if you wanna just talk like a normal person we can speak, but the the, the weird shit has to stop. Okay. Not that it has to stop. It, it it's gonna stop. It stops now. <laughs> in fact it it already in fact it already stopped. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not drunk enough yet! I need a happy hour! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've got balls of steel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Poor Shaheen. I'm sorry, Shaheen. I'm sorry for myself for that. For you know. Well, if we're getting if well if you're getting stalkers, it means we're getting some attention. So we'll we'll, we'll yeah. We'll, I've, we'll, I've, I've got three so far that are pretty consistent. Awesome, awesome. Are, are they are they all guys? <laughs> it says, no, no, no. That's three too many. Uh, but are, are, are they all guys? Yes. Oh wow. You don't even have one what girl stalker? They, what do you mean are they all guys, dude? We, we talk about fucking wrestling. What did you what do you expect? Well there's there's women. There's a lot of girls that like wrestling. Uh but like uh, uh. <laughs> They they just they Alright. Alright. But we actually we actually have a we actually have like a somebody that actually posts on our on our Facebook now. That's a female, so that's good. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you. Face, please. Thank you. Thank you. I, I will not mention your name because I'm not sure if you want it mentioned. But thank you for posting on our Facebook. The yeah, sauces. I won't mention it either. I don't. I don't know if she wants to mention. But no, yeah. I, I would never mention anyone's name unless I knew they were cool with it. So yeah, that's there you go. That's it right there. Yeah. So thank you for uh, putting a stop to the, to the <laughs> and, and, and you know changing the pace a little bit and uh, yeah. Yeah, to all the dudes, man, stop, stop it with the fucking weird shit. I'm not down with it. Yeah, there you go. So, all right. Now that Shaheen has, uh... I'll, tell, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. If, uh, you know, local people in, in in Philly, New Jersey, New York, the the, I don't even know what to call us now, man. We're gonna we're gonna be there now. Uh, fucking February twenty first, I want to say. I think it's CZW. I'll be down there with the, with the wrestling squad. That's where we are now. Oh, yeah. Motherf motherfucking Philly wrestling squad. We'll be barbecuing outside. If you are a normal person and you're not about the, the sweetheart shit, you know, you're more than welcome to join us. Eat a couple hamburgers. Eat a couple beers. I said eat a couple beers. What the fuck? <laughs> Drink a couple goddamn beers with us. Eat a couple a beers. Smoke yeah, eat a couple every beers. Day. <laughs> Eat a couple beers with us, <laughs> but uh, no, it's not. It's just uh, fucking lost my train of thoughts after you know the message. Jesus Christ! Well, see, like uh, I said, man, smoke weed every day. That's what happens. Man, man, Colorado. <laughs> um, Colorado. Geez. Colorado. Oh. Uh, yeah, join us, man. House of Hardcore CZW. We'll be there. We'll be grilling. Be having a good time. Um, last time I wanted to do a live hot tag from from the Wells Fargo Center. Unfortunately, we got too drunk way too fast eating. Uh, God damn! I was about to say eating beers again. What is going on, <laughs> Box Man? How do you explain this? What, what the fuck is going on, dude? Um, the past I, time. What the hell? It's your stalkers, dude. They're making you crazy. I mean, you just you just don't know what already. To do. You don't know what to do, already. man. 
<laughs> now, just judging off my profile picture, man, how do you approach me as, hey, sweetheart? Like, I, I just, I don't fucking get it. Maybe he thought you, know? you were the, maybe, maybe he, well, you see, you had a girl in your profile picture the other day, so maybe he thought you were the girl. Yeah, but she's like 14, man. That's my sister. <laughs> so it's, you know. Well. It's not, it's clearly not me, and he knows me from the, from the podcast, because I asked him, he said he knows me from the podcast. I was like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. You clearly know my personality, judging off the podcast. So contacting me saying, hey, sweetheart, I, I don't think that's going to get much of a you know response out of me hey, unless sweetheart. again you know unless you have a vagina Ooh, no you don't have vagina you don't have stalkers of vaginas <laughs> no not <laughs> yet. I do have, well let's let's get i do have stalkers with vaginas just not through the wrestling podcast yet oh okay, okay. yeah there's a there's a big difference i'm, I'm still not i'm still not uh released from, from some of the some of my stalkers from the past, but nice, nice, indeed. There indeed. you go. All right, you want to get through raw, don't you? I don't. <laughs> We're almost done. We got, <laughs> we got like a backstage segment and the main event. <laughs> All right, I guess, man. Let's do it. All right, the backstage segment was the Roman was Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Um, Reigns is. Waking up from a nap, I guess, is what it looked like. <laughs> he looked pissed off. I don't know. It was weird. Um, Daniel Bryan comes in, and they have this little things and says, oh, you're not going to be facing Rollins. You're going to be facing me. Um, it was a whole big blah, blah. And Reigns tells Daniel Bryan to get the hell out of his locker room. Um, then they announce that SmackDown, Miz TV, Roman Reigns, and his fast lane opponent at fast lane. Fast lane. Yeah. We're so, switching in the fast lane. There you go. Um, We're and switching now, to the fast lane. <laughs> oh, gosh, Tell me, WWE hire me. I could do your music too, see? There you go. And now we find it. Hire us for everything, man. I'll, I'll, I'll do your graphics, I'll do your booking. I'll do your music. There you fucking, go. I'll, I'll do your podcast. I'll do your commentary. You know? Shaheen will do it. He'll do Hell. everything. Shaheen will do anything. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. He'll Hell, do maybe it. maybe I'll even be a wrestler, man. If fucking uh, CJ Parker is, is on the roster, oh, shit. Shaheen will do it all. I'll be there. Oh, everything. All of it. No. I'll be there. Yeah. So, all right. You know what it's finally Although, time if, for? If I did that, though, I'd probably have a lot of more, a uh, lot more dudes contacting me with the sweetheart bullshit. Probably. That's probably. not good. Probably. Yeah. There you Trying go. Trying to avoid that. So you know what we're finally up to on this raw? Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. There we go. Yeah. We're finally at the main event. We've been going, we've been talking for a while. God damn, three hours. Oof. Anyway, um, Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins. Indeed. Um, I don't... Great matchup. I, yeah, I, I, I can't praise this match much more than, than it, 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 it was awesome. It was great. Um, good way to end the show. And we end up with uh, Bryan versus Roman Reigns at Fastlane. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, great. You can talk over that. Go ahead. I I hate you. <laughs> are you are, are you going to do that every time we mention that that word? We only got three weeks left of fast lane. <laughs> no <Nah>, fuck. <laughs> oh man. Let's see how many people are going to unsubscribe just because of the fast lane sound effect every five minutes. <laughs> All right, I'll get rid of it. I'll add. I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll get rid of it. But uh, this, be uh, this match was cool, man. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. I think that's actually going to be a good match. I think that's probably going to be Reigns' uh, best match so far. So I think people are going to be actually surprised. Yeah, he thanks should. to Daniel Bryan. Bryan should be able to push him and and 
put him through a good match. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to see how they, how they do. Absolutely. Yeah, this, this is going to be good. Actually, uh, Fast Lane is surprisingly going to be a pretty good pay per view so far. I mean, I guess we're going to get Rusev and Cena. Is there a which, match? Uh, that's all right. Yeah, I, I know. I know we were going to talk TNA. But we don't really need to. We don't really need to. Yeah, I mean, I actually I didn't even watch it. So that's fine. I mean, I, they have a new guy. That's the um, Mandrews, who's the winner of the British Boot Camp, and they put him and Spud together. And Spud's a hell of a high flyer. Really? I will say that. Really? Yeah, I didn't realize how much, he's 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 pretty damn good for a high flyer. So. Yeah, nice. that by the way, um, bunch of by the way, shout out to uh, shout out to Ring Rust Radio for for plugging our shit on their show last week. Hell yeah, greatly appreciate that. You can check them out at ringrustradio.com. Check them out on iTunes, all the good stuff. Um, Wrestling Soup, also they're they're good folks. Wrestlingsoup.com. There you go. See, folks, we you know we we, we plug other people. Good all shit. Right. Yesterday, updated WWE Fastlane card. New matches announced. This was announced yesterday. Okay. Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan. What do you think there? You think they're gonna? You're gonna? They're gonna push? Uh, uh, it's it's Reigns. You think it's Reigns. Reigns through. Okay. Uh, Cena. Now here's something interesting. Cena versus Rusev for the United States Championship. Yeah, this is weird. This is very weird. Is it weird? That's almost like a like a that that belt is like a taboo. You know, yeah. they they you want to stay away from that shit, bro. Yeah. Now, do you think it's weird, or do you think that maybe they're just thinking, well, no one thinks Cena is going to carry around the U.S. belt, so this is a way. So you're thinking, well. Rusev is probably going to beat Cena here. I think Rusev is going to beat Cena no matter what. But you think so? Uh huh. I think this match is going to be some kind of fuck finish. Uh, probably get a DQ or something. And I think they're going to probably have a rematch at WrestleMania, which is really weird because you would expect them to just have the original match at WrestleMania and have the rematch at Extreme Rules. Yeah, this match could also end in, like you said, this match could end in fuckery and have no one win. I mean, it, that that could happen, too. Yeah. I, I could see some sort of DQ here, possibly. You never know. Um, Divas Championship match, Nikki versus Paige. Oh, gosh. I don't care who wins it. I, I don't care. The hashtag IDK. <laughs> I mean, I, what the fuck am I talking about? Dude, I'm out of it tonight. I'm eating beers and I'm spelling IDK. <laughs> yeah. IDC, whatever. What is IDK? I don't know. I don't is know. That's a fucking. Yeah, you had it. You're right. Yeah. Damn, Shaheen. You, you... Yeah. Jesus. Are you drunk? Well, I did. Have, I told you I had some, some burr. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I I was drinking mine and then I spilled it. I'm still drinking one though. No big deal. There you go. Yeah. I don't care. I don't know. I got to mix it up. Fuck you. Fuck off. It's like 11, 30, 12, whatever it is. There you go. Um, what else do we have on that card? Are we going to... I'm guessing we're going to get the Usos against uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, which I'm fine with. I'm guessing, but as of yesterday, that was the card. I mean, there's still three weeks... There's still three weeks left, so good week or two of building, so... Yeah. No, that'll that'll probably definitely be on the card. Oh yeah, there's you, definitely because you know, Cesaro got to win over uh, Uso. Do you think um, you think Miz and Mizdow are gonna do it at are gonna end up at Fastlane, do you, or do you think they're gonna end up carrying this out? Oh, to Mania. Mania, Mania, definitely Mania. Okay, has to be Mania. Then again, I mean, nothing surprises me with these guys. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, it would make sense at WrestleMania, but Jesus, they could, it, it might be a fast lane. They could still do a fast lane and still push it to Mania if, 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 um, you know, say Mizdow gets the win, you could still push it out to Mania. You know, he's now you know going on his own. They could do a whole thing of, I mean, there could be a whole. 
program with, you know, promos and everything. Yeah, but I think it's always special when, like, the first match is at, is at WrestleMania. That's why I kind of didn't want them to do Rusev and Cena at Fastlane. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It is, but... You don't, wanna, you don't wanna have the rematch on the, on a bigger show, you know, it's just weird. All about that free month, dude. It's all about this being the free month. You gotta, you gotta factor that in too. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, that was the biggest factor. Absolutely. I mean, that is, that, that, that's how they're thinking. So that's how we got to think too. That, you know, that's bullshit though, man. The biggest factor <laughs> is the fact that they fucking released it to like 200 countries. That's why. That's not because it was factor. free for a month. Yeah. But I mean, free for a month is always a good thing, but. I don't know. I mean, New Japan now is free this month, too, so. I mean, don't get me wrong. It definitely is a plus. But the, I mean, they're making it out to be, like, that's the reason why they reached a million. <laughs> but they failed to, to inform you that they released it to so many countries in the same time frame. That definitely plays a bigger part than, than the free month. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, you know, they're not going to tell you that, though. No, 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 no. Never, 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 never. Never ever. Never ever 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 never ever 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 right never right never right ah what what fuck god damn it damn Jesus you dick fuck oh man that means that means we need to end the show we probably we've been going for almost three hours and almost 315 here i think we might have the longest podcast going no what should i pulled up a ring rust the other day that was like four hours and something oh yeah they they yeah they they kind of go in with the time yeah they they, they go yeah, and i've hard. i've listened to uh i've listened to longer podcasts but um i ain't worried yeah. about it dude i ain't worried about it listen as long as you want yeah. Break it up. Do it. Break it up. I don't care. So, I don't know, man. Break it up. 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 I, I, I don't have very much more, man. I think we've, uh, we might have covered everything. Yeah, we covered everything, I believe. Lucha Underground, Roman Reigns on, on, uh, not Sam, Triple mm -hmm. H and, and Austin. We covered Raw. We talked about the news. We failed to talk about TNA because I didn't watch it. No problem. Um, ah, shit, I believe that's it. I think Alberto Del Rio is on Ring of Honor TV now, so that's that's pretty cool. And I believe he's coming to Lucha Underground pretty soon. If that's a spoiler to you, I'm sorry, but you know everybody knows already. Yeah, I think it's in the next couple of weeks coming. It's it's not far away, his, um, his uh, Lucha Underground debut, I know that, but... Um... Again, man, good for him. He's out. He's he's getting a lot of fucking attention just by doing all these little, just just doing all these indie shows. And I, I'm, I'm absolutely glad. <clears throat> good for him. Absolutely. Um, by the way, WWE, uh, they have. To, I mean, I know I kind of you know mentioned this earlier. I saw another article a couple of days ago where they were saying that they're just blaming the the Philadelphia crowd. Yeah. For the outcome of, of the Royal Rumble, Fucking which that that's scum. just complete bullshit. And again, these guys are not coming back. The only events we're gonna get is like payback. You're scumbags. Oh, you see that? You scumbags. See that? Payback. Payback. They want pay. So I call it now. We're gonna get payback. Cause payback's a bitch. Dude, they're gonna give us the shittiest show at payback. They're gonna give. They're gonna yo. Yep. That's that's genius. Do that. You're welcome, WWE. There You're you welcome go. again. I did it again. <clears throat> you did it again. Oh. Oops, he did it again. <laughs> I did it again, you son of a bitch. WWE, I can give you too many ideas. I got, I got, I got to start charging you guys. I give you too much. Uh, Tell me that's not gold. Come back to Philadelphia for payback and that, get that your would, payback. Give us the funny. shittiest show, and you'll probably get a riot. I, so then, ultimately, I mean, who, who gets the payback? I guess. Well, I guess the fans that get arrested, they, they get the off on the payback. Dude, that'd be awesome if they if 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 they announce payback is coming. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Oh my god! If if they do that, dude, I have to start. I have to start contacting them. Like, yo, man, I, I need I need to start seeing checks. 
Dude, it's... You bastards. This is recorded. They, we can prove you said it on this date. Yeah, it doesn't mean shit, though. Doesn't matter. We have but, proof. Uh, honestly, that, that wouldn't surprise me. I mean, may, honestly, it probably wouldn't even be this year, but I'm telling you, we're going to get a payback in the next two years. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt we're gonna it. We're going to get a payback. I would not doubt but, it, uh, my friend. Yeah, so hashtag WWE Fears Philly. <laughs> there you Which go. Which is true. Man. That's that is damn near a fact now. WWE fears Philadelphia. They fear the 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 smart smart crowd of Philadelphia. I Fact. guess that's that's what they call us. There you go, you bunch of degenerate pieces of shit. Yeah, we've been we've been spoiled with too much DCW. That's it. Oh, we get too much Indies. There you go. We only we all live in our mom's basement. And we're all 400 pounds. We're, just, we're the IWC. Like, fuck off, dude. They're like, honestly, I wasn't that crowd, man. There wasn't that many, honestly. I thought I was going to see a lot of, like, weird, stereotypical wrestling fans. There wasn't that many at all. It was, like, mostly just regular-ass dudes like myself, you know, just, just regular fucking, just regular-ass dudes that just happen to like wrestling. Just, that's what it is. That's what it is. We're not some kind of, like, alien, you know? No. Not at all. Aliens are bad. Oh, aliens are bad. If you see an alien, shoot it down. Ooh, hey, talk to it first. Oh, well, I don't know. Would you, would, you, would you actually speak to an alien? Would, would you approach take, it? I, I would take a selfie. More with its dead corpse? Or no, no. A lot. Alive, dude. I've been something. Whoa, fucking aliens, bitches. Well, what if he gets scared and kills you first? Fuck yeah. Fuck that. Dude. Then I'm going to put hashtag getting my ass killed by an well, alien. Well, you'd be dead already, man. Would you want to risk that or would you just lash out and, and shoot the goddamn alien first? Hashtag alien killed my ass dot com. <laughs> alien abduction. Yeah. Hashtag that's actually, anally pro. That's a good movie. Have you seen that? No. That's a good movie. It's like a... It's not really underground. Well, besides... Yeah, I, I don't believe it, it got like a theater release, but uh, check that out. Alien that'd Abduction. A, that'd be a nice sci-fi show. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I found a cool but show I, I on think, sci-fi. What was that? I found a cool show on sci-fi, and it had if it hadn't have been for watching SmackDown, I probably wouldn't have found it. What's that? called Wizard Wars. Oh, I, I saw the commercial for that. Yes, it's, like, this... uh, it's almost like the voice with like magic. It is, and I am a I love magic. Since I was a kid, I've been infatuated with magic. You don't even know how many tricks I got. My son has oh, most of them. You're an illusionist. I love... You know what I love about magic? How simple it is. That's, that's one of the best things about it. Because you'll see a trick be done, and you'll be like, you mean I can't even fucking see you doing that? God damn, I'm an idiot. Well, you better not start giving away the tricks, man. Before you know it, you're going to have a whole campaign <laughs> looking for your ass. I won't do full that. Full of magicians trying to fucking skin you alive. I won't do that. But I, I I got a bunch of those little small tricks, you know, those little kind of bar tricks yeah. that you can bring. I, I love yeah, it. Yeah. The, yep, I love keep it, the, dude. Keep the fame alive. There you go. Fucking Penn and Teller on that show. Penn and Teller are fucking awesome. Yeah. They're judges. Gotta, and, keep, the, gotta keep the magic kayfabe alive, dude. Oh, yeah. But no, this is a, it, it's really a good show. And I've, I've been watching the old ones on demand. It's I'm loving it. I love, I, I'm, like I said, I just, I love magic. Yeah. By the way, can I, can I give you a movie to watch? Yes. For, uh, yeah. for next week, if we can, if we can talk about this. By the way, folks, check this out. You can check this out on YouTube, I believe. Um, check this out because we'll talk about it next week. I'm sure a lot of you have actually seen it. I, th I believe it was made in the 70s. It's called uh, I Like to Hurt People. And this is one of the first wrestling movies I ever saw. Saw it as a kid and it scared the shit out of me. So <laughs> Great. I'd like to, Yeah, it's, an, it's actually amazing. So I, I'd really like to revisit uh, that film and watch it and, and kind of discuss it and and review it on the show because next week will probably be kind of dry 
because we don't have the Austin podcast and we don't have all that stuff. So yeah. Um, speaking of movies and stuff, did you watch any of the shoots that uh, I put up? No, my uh, my internet went down oh, right after I'm, you. Uh, you know, fucking idiot I am. I'm sorry about that. I totally forgot your internet went down. Yeah, yeah. Well, it didn't go down. My uh, dog took a piss on the router <laughs> once right. again. Right. I'm I'm sorry. Your your internet um got urinated on. Yeah, cheap cheap plug for my dog pissing on my router again. Cheap plug. Which dog cheap did plug. it? Which dog? Uh, it was Millie, the oldest one. Millie. Millie, you mm. Millie the motherfucker. Millie, you're a dick. Millie, this one's for you. You dick. <laughs> he is a dick. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, speaking of cheap plugs, let's get our plugs and let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Check us out at thtpodcast.com. Once again, folks, that is thtpodcast.com. Check us out on iTunes. Please, please leave a review. Leave a review. Give it a rate. Give us some stars. Make us some stars. God damn it. Leave some reviews, though. I'm serious. That'll only literally take you four seconds. We give you hours and hours a week. All I ask for is four or five seconds every time. Yep. Just leave a review on iTunes. Leave a review on Stitcher. Um, and you can find us on iTunes and Stitcher by searching THT Wrestling Podcast. You can also go on YouTube, uh, search THT Wrestling Podcast. You'll find us on there. And I believe that's it. Oh, Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash THT Podcast. Mm -hmm. Go on there. We have a, a lot of good topics on there, a lot of different uh, news, breaking news that comes in. A lot of different stuff that we talk about. Plus, all the links will be up there, so you want to check that out. And all of this is, of course, right on the website that you can check out. There you go. I think there you got you go. everything, man. And, uh, of course, thanks to the live listeners, the chat room here. Everybody in the chat room, appreciate you guys listening and chatting with us. We do appreciate you. We, we do. do appreciate you. And, and in uh, all honesty, for, for all the people that listen to us from ever since the first episode, Went through a lot of audio issues. Maybe we're going through audio issues again tonight. I don't know. I'm going through my phone, so this is kind of new. Again, for the for the first time yeah. listeners, you know, most weeks probably sound better. So hopefully you tune in again. But for the for the long time listeners, greatly appreciate you guys. For the short time listeners, greatly appreciate you guys. Stick with us. More content coming up. We'll continue to do this. We love doing this. Greatly appreciate all the support and the numbers have been going up, man. We greatly appreciate. It. That's awesome. Yeah, we definitely appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all the new listeners, old listeners, all the listeners. We love you. Yeah, except except for the weird ones that then message me and call me sweetie and shit. Stop and, that. And the ones that are messaging Shaheen and leaving me out of it, I love you. I, I don't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> folks, we'll be back next Tuesday. Greatly appreciate you guys listening. Thank you so much, and we'll be back next Tuesday, 8.05. See ya. See ya. Packer, I smoke up, man. Time to kick back, drink some beers, and smoke some weed.